three days ago, Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts, was kidnapped. Yesterday, with my help, the Psychonauts rescued Truman from the underwater lair of Dr. Lobato. But trust me, there's no way Lobato is working alone. Today, we're on a mission. Find out who hired Dr. Lobato to kidnap Truman Zanotto. My name is Raz, and today is my first official day on the job. Everything okay in here, Raz? Oh, <laughs> hey, Lily. Yeah, I don't know. It's just... I've dreamed about working at Psychonauts headquarters all my life. I just thought it would be more... You know? Come on! We're going to be late for the morale corral! And that's how we managed to raise profits, uh, 900% this quarter. That's right. Thank you. And that brings us to our next topic. Uh, Sasha, still have the talking turtle? Maury. Sorry, I just like the clapping. It's now time to give out the award for Employee of the Year. The prize for this year's award is an all-expenses-paid tropical vacation. Ooh! Oh, I hope it's me. The winner of this award may be one of our newest members, but he's also one of our most improved. Congratulations to... Caligosto Loboto! Whoa! Way to go, Cal! You're gonna love this vacation package. I'm jealous. I... I've never won anything. Or been on a vacation. I don't have to go on a boat, do I? No, darling. Woo! All you need to do is get this vacation request approved by your supervisor. What? Just a formality. You just need to get this form signed by your boss. My boss? Yes, darling. Or you could just tell us who your boss is, and we could... No! Maybe he doesn't want this tropical vacation after all. Get back! I want it! I'm employee of the year! Yes, you are, darling. Now off you go. Get that form signed by your boss. The person who hired you. The person you work for! Okay... Hurry up! Before I take that vacation myself. Rasputin? I'm on him. Keep up with him, Raz, and he'll lead you straight to his boss. We'll try to head him off. Be careful, darling. Stay close to him, Raz. But don't freak him out. I am acting casual. What's that? I said, I love casual Friday. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Attention. The tooth is loose. So lose him, Raz! Uh-oh. What is it? I think he suspects something. He's taking countermeasures. Just remember your basic fighting, soldier. Right. <laughs> Are you following me? You are following me. This was all a trick. I'm not employee of the year. I'm the greatest dentist of our century. All agents, the tooth has gone bad. Repeat, the tooth has gone bad. Maintain pursuit, Rasputin. We are in position to intercept. Roger. 
looking for me? Well, come and get me. Why are you taking so long? <laughs> I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation. Watch out! <laughs> hey, you're not supposed to walk that way. Posters! Time for small talk, soldier. The enemy is on the move. But we've got him cornered. This way. Quick. Hurry. We can't let him shake us. Now, before the procedure, it's very important that we clean out your dentist's hut. You don't want any dirty. Go away. Ah! This giant tooth off of me! Finally! Great job following orders, Private. You go on ahead. I'll take up the rear gun. Lots of figments of Roboto's imagination in here. When you say I thought the big tooth was upsetting. Well, we soldier through, Private. Unzip that devil door! Good job, soldier! What's that light? Uh-oh. Zip it back up again! Zip it! Ah! There. Now that your cap is clean, let's check out those choppers. Hmm. If I didn't know better, I'd swear this place had gremlins. No problem. I'm sure I can do this in the dark. Uh... Coach, this room is definitely not in Sasha's plan. In fact, I think it's a trap. No. That's just a sensor. Everybody has those. You live in your mind and stamp out things that don't... belong. Like us? You handle this one. I'll find a way out. Just have to do your thing with the dental door here. Ugh. I can't even look at it. Hmm. Sounds like there's some emotional baggage nearby. I should try to get that sorted. Yes! Got the duffel bag tag. that way. See you on the other side. Looks like some sort of conference room in here. Rasputin, is that you? I need... Oof. I'm coming, Sasha. Rasputin, careful. Aha! It's a... Here's the hat box tag. Uh, a trap. It's a trap. Lobato has... Oof. Thank you, Rasputin. 
Please, let's get clear. Sasha, how is Lobato breaking through the office construct? He couldn't be doing this on his own. He must be getting help from someone even more... sinister. Get ready, Rasputin. Keep moving forward, Rasputin. Ah. Sasha! I do. I've got the situation under our control. Ah. Just find us a way out of here, quickly. Yeah, don't bother with them, little mooks. You want to go for the gold. You gotta grab the big boys. Help me carry this one, will you, Frankie? I can't believe this shot break! Ah, they got me too, Frankie! The mooks! before you came in here today? Honestly, it's a mess in there. Here, rinse and spit. Ah! It's now everything that doesn't belong. Oh no, not back in the trap. Trap? Coach? Coach, where'd he go? Oh, well, that's a good sign. What is it? That is a regret. If Lobato has regrets, then maybe there's a way we can still get to him. Let's get out of here and find Lobato. Uh, Sasha? <gasps> Are regrets dangerous? Oh, yes, extremely. Take care of that one, will you, while I find an exit? Job, Rasputin. Unfortunately, I can't find a way out of here anywhere. Uh, Sasha? How long has that golden door been there? Golden what? Did somebody say gold? Frankie, here's our chance for revenge! Oh, not these guys. I'll keep looking. Watch out! They should not again! I'm coming to see ya, Ma! Rasputin, you see what you can find through that door. I'm going to stay here and attempt to repair my construct. Oh, this is not getting any better. Raz! Is that you? Come down here! Lily, I'm coming! Uh-oh, it's the Ripper! Hurry up, Raz! Here I come! It's not a phobia, it's a curse. Back in Grulovia, my whole family was cursed to die in water, and- Yeah, yeah, super sad. Look at these posters! I think someone else planted these in Lobato's mind to intimidate him. And make sure he didn't tell us who hired him to kidnap your dad. Let's get rid of them. Maybe it'll help. Help me burn these posters, Raz. Ooh, looks like you found 
found an even bigger room. I'm going to catch up to Lobato. Listen, back in the rhombus of ruin, uh, you and I had a moment, am I right? We're not here to hurt you. We just want to know who hired you to kidnap Truman Zanotto. Uh, why can't you just let it go? Oh, well, that ends well, right? you screaming? Or me? Doesn't matter. Listen, we all have our doubts and regrets, but it's too late to turn back now. Understand? What we have to do now is finish the extraction! Lily, I think Lobato is starting to have doubts. Duh! They're right over there. Look! Careful, Raz. Those things can really slow you down. Look familiar? Get away from me, you scary little girl! Think we should burn it? Oh, you haven't changed, have you? Come on, just tell us who hired you to kidnap my dad. <laughs> ah, oh no, you don't! I think I just did. <laughs> ah! Mia? Yes, darling? Nothing. Did you forget everything I taught you about levitation, Rasputin? No. Your thoughts can lift you up if you focus. Better mm. hurry before we hit the ground. There you go. Ooh, ooh. Now let's get out of here. The bottom needs our help. Yes. Wait, help Lobato. Someone really did a number on that poor thing. I think he wants to tell us who hired him. Oh, 
Sonia, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Lobato. There's a little chaos on every mission, Raz. A psychonaut must always remember how to roll with it. You remember how to gather your thoughts and roll with them, right? Demented. Suitcase tag. Gotcha. in the basket, in the basket in the ocean. No, no, that's not it. Put the old box in the basket and the egg in the ocean. You put the egg in the basket and the old egg in the box and the box in the ocean. <laughs> Simple. And if you tell anyone about me, anyone at all, you'll have to deal with her. No, not her. Please don't make me look at her again. No, no, I won't tell. I won't tell anyone. I promise. No, please. Trapped. Yes, whoever hired Lobato to kidnap Truman knew he might be psychically interrogated. The poor thing looks terrified. Did anyone get a good look at his boss? I saw him, but I couldn't tell who he was. And I saw... something else. I saw the thing that terrified Lobato. It was... a woman, dressed in black fur. She was floating over the ruins of a city, and she was commanding serpents of... water. There was something familiar about her. Rasputin, I'm going to show you a picture. That's 
that's her! Wait a second. I thought I recognized her. True Psychic Tales, issue 43. She's on the cover. Maligula. The deluge of Grulovia. Maligula? She's been dead for 20 years! Ford Crawler killed her himself! A battle from which he never truly recovered. She was a monster. A ruthless, power-hungry psychic who drowned hundreds of her own countrymen. Nevertheless, she still has her loyal followers to this day. This file documents recent activity believed to be the work of these modern-day delusionaries. What are they up to? Well, it's ridiculous, really. There's no scientific basis to... Necromancy. What? They're trying to bring her back to life? It's silly, darling. But if they believe they can do it, they might do some dangerous things. Mia, have you considered the other disturbing fact in all of this? That unstable character. Could Bait never it. kidnap the grand head Get of the lost. Psychonauts without help? Yes. You mean... There's a mole in the Psychonauts. You think this is a mole, you're dumber than you look. Approaching the mother lobe. Agent Forsyth, why did you deny us intel when we hailed the Motherlobe? What are you talking about, Agent Nine? We were on a mission to rescue the Grand Head of the Psychonauts. When we called for assistance... I never heard any call. Who did you talk to? Is he all right? We won't know for sure until we get that squirrel tested for rabies. This is our kidnapper. Clearly, he had help on the inside. Impossible. A mole in the Psychonauts? We have reason to believe delusionists are involved. And they're trying to bring back Maligula. What? I know. Isn't it great? The Psychonauts haven't had this kind of a threat in years. Can someone help me with my dad? He's still acting funny. Truman! Let's get him inside so he can lie down. I'll see what I can find out in my meditation chamber. I'm taking Lobato to my office for further interrogation. I'm gonna talk to Otto about our military options. Does that make anyone else a little nervous? Who are you? I'm Raz. Uh, Rasputin? I'm, uh, your newest psychonaut? How's that? Ford Crawler, he gave me a badge. I've been kind of helping out. <laughs> Listen, kid. Agent Crawler is a hero. But he's not operating at 100%. He can hand out all the merit badges he wants, but he doesn't have the authority to commission Psychonauts. But you can, right? You're Hollis Forsyth, lesser head of the Psychonauts? True Psychic Tales 146. You and Truman fought the Noodler together. I prefer the title... Second head. If the other agents vouch for you, I might be able to get you a spot. In the intern program. But don't be late for orientation. I hear the coordinator's a real brain buster. Welcome to the mother lobe. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, is it okay if I go up into the main headquarters now? I'm sorry, little boy, but there just aren't any school tours today. What? I'm an intern. Agent Forsyth gave me this. <laughs> really? Let's check your head in the thinker print reader, please. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Well, I'll be doused. Welcome to the intern program. Let me get you your orientation materials. Scanning for thinker print. Access granted. I'm really here! Psychonauts Headquarters! Ow! Sorry, new ball. Wow! All interns, please report to my office for your mentorship assignments. You won't get far without a mentor. Ah, oh, you look just like my nephew. A little jerk. Greetings, fellow psychic. I'm Otto Mentalis. I'm personally too busy. Hey, look out! Oh, sorry, I didn't... Whoa! Ow! That's mean! Did he hurt you, baby? I'm not a baby. Yeah, you are. Question is, who's this new kid? My name is Raz, and I'm the new intern. That's ridiculous. I didn't ask for a new intern. Intern program's full. Sorry, kid. He is clumsy. He'd probably get us all killed. And he's mean. Well, kid, we give it a fair shot, and it looks like it just didn't work out. Better luck next year. Guys, quit picking on the new kid. We were all new ones, in case you forgot. I think he'll fit in just fine. In fact, I think he'll look cute in our uniform. Let's take him to the closet. Hey, you okay in there, Rusty? What's the holdup? It's Raz. I was just wondering, if there's an intern uniform, how come you guys aren't wearing it? Oh, well, we're level two. Now just hand out your clothes and we'll get you that uniform. Well, can't you hand me the uniform first? <laughs> no, silly. We need to take your clothes and measure them so we can get you a uniform that fits. Unless you want us to come in there and measure you. No, no. Here you go. Just hurry up, okay? It's cold in here and I'm practically naked. Uh-oh. Guys? Oh, come on! This is embarrassing in so many ways. Narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. I don't have a key. Aha! I'll bet this key goes to that supply chest I found. Sorry, Harold. You're absolutely right. I should think about how I'm using that word. What is it, Harold? Do you know the code? Is the code in there, Harold? I'm too big to go in there. If only I could see what you see in there. Hey, that reminds me.
trying to see the world as you see it, Harold. Right where we want it, and yet we still can't extract the information we need. Have you tried? Sasha, you have to let me do more. You know it's because of me that... Otto. I mean, if I hadn't... Not a word, Rasputin, until I find you some new clothes. Sorry if the fit is a little off. They're the smallest clothes I had. Now, uh, tell us again how you ended up outside in your underwear. Oh, you know, I, I was sort of going undercover. Just like you did, Agent Mentalis, in True Psychic Tales number 62, when you used your defibrillator to hypnotize 16 trans troopers at once. Oh, please, that old yarn. Oh, they embellished so many details in that version. But in fact, it was 17 troopers. Well, love to chat, but uh, I gotta make like a brain and bounce. If you're ever looking for just the right tool for the job, come see me in my workshop. Even the best psychonauts require a little assistance now and then. Now, if you'll excuse me, Rasputin, I need to get back to the matter at hand. No, no. I didn't bend the spoons, Mommy. Ooh, I love going through the car wash. Oh, and don't worry about the other interns, Rasputin. Initiation rituals are a common method for a specialized social... Please, Rasputin, that is not providing any... Ah, oh, Caligosto, if you would just cooperate with our investigation... Oh, I'd like to, but I can't. I know you're scared, but... I've got enough just credit tell to upgrade me one of my side... No, 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 Agent? Hey, kid. <sighs> that was a dirty trick you pulled. I want my clothes back. You know, you're right. I'm sorry, and I'm going to make it up to you. I'm going to let you finish my asset recovery mission. Why do I feel like I'm going to end up naked in a closet again? My intern assignment is to track down this list of missing Psychonaut assets. Mission critical assets. So, like a scavenger hunt? If you think like a child, you will do a child's work. Finish this mission, and we'll know you're ready for your clothes back. This looks like a good place to track my... Get a hold of yourself, Oleander. Good luck fighting the Ligula without my battle bot, cheapskates. Hey, I'm with you. Letting him build a battle anything is probably a bad idea. Oh, right, new intern. Thought I told you not to be late. Doesn't matter. You need a mentor. Let me see who's left. Ooh, 
Am I helping Mia or Sasha on a mission? No. You're in the mailroom. Your mentor is Nick John Smith. Mailroom? Nick John Smith? I've never heard of an Agent John Smith. Nick's not an agent. He's not even psychic. He's just good at sorting mail. You'll love Nick. Everybody does. But the mailroom? Ford Crawler himself worked in that mailroom. You could learn a lot there. For one thing, how to be on time. Okay, I've given you fingerprint access to the mailroom. Now scoot, I've got a base to run and a budget to balance. My chest I found. Hey! Uh, how's your dad? Terrible! I gotta go get him some therapy plant stats. How'd you get that hatch open? Oh, it's got a fingerprint combination. I can teach it to you. Come here. It's more than just a number. You kind of have to feel it. Do you feel it? Yes. Good. Tell anybody you got it from me, and you're dead. Bye! Mr. John Smith? Hello? <laughs> New intern here. <laughs> yep. These animals are more widely than the ones in camp. had it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Where is Nick? I can't remember the last time I saw him. He's usually so organized. Hmm. There's a narrow slot that I don't think I can fit in. What a mess! Everything okay in here? Who are you? I'm, uh, Nick John Smith's new intern. Oh, so you're the one not sorting all this mail. Wait! Better get all this mail sorted, quick! You're making Nick look bad. Sort this mail if I'm going to ace this internship.
package is addressed to Truman Zanotto. Hey, this might be important. I'd better bring it to Truman. Technically, this is official Psychonauts business. I'd better deliver this to Truman quick. I'd better deliver this to Truman quick. Heavy. Whoops. Aha! I'll bet this key goes to that supply chest I found. Your brain, not your back. Come on, package, you're doing that on purpose. Ouch! That did some damage. What the? Hey, you guys gotta check this out. The new kid killed Nick. He's alive, but he's brainless. <gasps> what kind of sick monster would steal Nick's brain? I mean, Nick! Maybe he saw something he shouldn't have. But why keep his body alive? And why mail it to the Grand Head of the Psychonauts? It could be a warning. Hey guys, does the Lady Lucktopus Casino mean anything to you? Isn't that where we sent Agent 33? To investigate suspected delusionist activity? Agent 33 is two days late with her status update. I'll get the jet. I'll pack the go case. I'll stay here and protect the children. What? Aren't we all going on the mission? We could use you in tactical command, Agent Forsyth. And maybe the interns would benefit from... It's not safe. Not while we have a double agent among us. I'll take her place. I've heard the buffet there is shockingly reasonable. Well, if you reconsider, meet us on the jet pad within the hour. Can't we just... No, all of you. To the intern's bay. Now! I've got some training exercises planned today that are both informative and safe. Last one there has to delouse the brain tumbler. TV? I bet those guys took Nick's body back to the mail. I should go check and see if he's okay. He is my mentor after all. <clears throat> if I may speak. You may not. Class is in session. When does class start? As soon as you get to my classroom. This isn't your classroom? No. This is. So are you ready, kid? Yeah. And what are you ready for? Safety. Oh, you think the human mind is safe? Well, that's cute. is how you perform the advanced psychic ability known as Mental Connection. Cool! Ooh, sorry, could you repeat that? Sorry, kid. I warned you not to be late. I'm off to attend to some fiduciary concerns. Norma, take over for me, won't you? 
You can practice with some of those loose ideas. But Agent Forsyth, is it safe to leave all these thoughts out like this if you're not here? Norma, please. It takes more than a few rambunctious children to affect the mind of a trained psychonaut. Try not to fall asleep in my class. All right, Rep Scallion. Okay, now how do I explain mental connection extremely simply? Let me guess. We focus on an idea in someone's mind until we form a tangible connection with it. Oh, I didn't realize you were a mental connection expert. By all means, give us a demo. Professor. What the heck did you just do? I said connect with the idea, not jump inside it like a hamster ball. Sorry. Old habit from the circus, I guess. Not only is cilantro delicious, it's affordable and easy to grow in a window box herb garden. What the heck is that? What? You left a slime trail. It's like he connected the two thoughts together! Oh, now you're in trouble. Hey, what's the big idea? Looks like... disgust. Well, I'm sure it's not the first time Rasputin has created that thought in someone's mind. I know cilantro reduces the risk of digestive distress, but it tastes like soap. And honestly, I'd rather have the gas. Hey, Raz. If you can change Forsyth's opinion of cilantro, maybe you could change her mind about the casino mission. Hmm. I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, she worries about us kids too much. It's taking years off of her life expectancy. Hmm. If you could get her not to be so worried all the time, we could all go on a real Psychonauts mission! Well, I don't suppose it would hurt to take a look around up there. Just see if there's any, you know, problems. Of course, if you're well, scared. What's this little do it. Oh, I like those. I mean, you'll probably get kicked out of the Psychonauts for trying, but what the heck? Connect those thoughts, young man! Try not to kill her brain, Raz. Remember, it's for the good of the mission. Straight to the top, Raz! Of course, if you're... Oh, wait! This was a terrible idea! These poor kids don't... No yeah, more imported this was a bad idea. Ah! Ah! Our Lady of Restraint Neurological Hospital? I think Hollis said she was an intern here once. I always had my best ideas here. Let's just hope I don't run into Dr. Putz. Maybe trying to change her mind is a bad idea. No, wait. I think that is a bad idea.
Yes! No room in here for any bad ideas but my own. Speaking of, I gotta catch up to Hollis and try to change her mind about the mission. Hatbox needs a hatbox tag. I should try to get that sorted. Nearby. I should try to get that sorted. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. Some emotional baggage oh my nearby. god, look at the size of that kid's head! Get him to radiology, stat! You saved another life, Dr. Potts. Oh, please, I just did my job. I heard the technique you used was developed by your intern, Hollis Forsyth. Oh, uh, my intern? Uh, uh, Why, yes, yes, well, we did collaborate on uh, that a little. Uh, yep. The patient oh. will make a full recovery, Dr. Potts. All thanks to you. Mm-hmm. And your brilliant intern, Hollis Forsyth. Oh, uh, Why, uh, yes. Well, she has been a helpful assistant. I like the look of these. This brain has made amazing progress. Yep. Another life saved by the Forsyth method. The, the POTS method? POTS? It was my intention? That in turn merely transcribed my dictation. Oh, uh, my apologies, Dr. POTS. In fact, I was thinking of getting rid of her. Huh. I've got half a mind to look for the other half. Something tells me it's not too far away. Good luck collecting your debts after I'm dead, losers. Some people prefer open casket funerals. 
Disgusting. Hmm. At our current burn rate. Oh, that's no good. Maybe if I move some funds around. I could postpone paying those bills, but not these. Oh. Another grant is off the table for sure. Bet the gastronauts don't have to pinch pennies like this. Where am I going to get the money for that? I went to school for medicine. How did I end up stressing about money management all day? Well, I just need to put those thoughts aside and focus on the children. Their safety is the most important thing. And it's not just because a lawsuit would bankrupt us right now. That casino mission would be good experience for them. But it's too risky. What if I let them go and the worst happens? <sighs> Need to focus. Only one unfathomable fear at a time, Forsyth. If Hollis associated risk with something more positive than death, it would open her up to so many more missions. I mean, life experiences. soap when cleaning my produce. Especially the cilantro. It's the only way to kill germs. When you pick up wild mushrooms, you really need to clean them thoroughly before cooking. wearing socks with sandals. Definitely could not handle that stressful casino mission right now. I think the only way to get Hollis to take us on a mission to a casino is to get her to associate the risk with money. Yep. I think I just figured out how to solve all our money problems! was in the middle of a sweet hookup there. Guess what, kids? You all did so well on your lesson. How about we give your new power a test drive out in the field? You mean we're going on the mission? For real? Isn't that dangerous? You know what they say, Sam. Nothing ventured, nothing brained. I don't think that's what... Let's roll. Heck yes! 
Ooh. All right. Sweet. Um. Woo! I'm so glad you changed your mind about the mission, Agent Forsyth. I was nervous about bringing the children, but if you feel that it's safe, then it must be. It's crucial they find out what these delusionists are up to at the casino. With you handling tactical command, I'd say our probability of mission success has risen 35%. I'll take those odds. Now how long till we reach the Lady Lactopus? We are almost there. Agent Forsyth, how are you feeling? <laughs> Lucky. Well, we're here. Using a false identity, we've secured a high roller suite to use as our base of operations. Now, children, you are not to leave the suite. Like most casinos, the Lady Lactopus has a strict no psychics policy. Weak. Be happy for this chance to observe Agent Forsyth in action. Teacup, this is Shoehorn. We are nearing position one. I'm moving down the primary ventilation shaft, and Dustpan is approaching the front desk. Shh. <gasps> Rasputin, don't sneak up on me like that. Listen, do me a favor and run up to the jet, will you? I need my dowsing goggles. I left them on my seat, I think. You wanted to be on a mission. Now, here's your first objective. Fetch my dowsing goggles. Okay, but... Hurry! Our window of opportunity is closing. All right, I'll be right back. Teacup, come in. Are you there? Oh. I don't see any dousing goggles anywhere. I mean, to be fair, I have no idea what they look like. I've actually never even heard of dousing. Oh no. Agent Forsyth, where are you going? Oh no, Hollis, what did I do to you? Rasputin, is that you? Mia? Sasha? Agent Forsyth is missing, but don't worry. I'll find her. Hurry, Rasputin. We're in big trouble here. Yes, please find Agent Forsyth right away. I don't know how long I can... Hold on. Uh... I'm on it. Sam, will you come help me find Hollis? Oh, it's begun, has it? Then I'm in the right place. I can't go into the hotel. They have anti-psychic detectors. Hollis must have some way to hide it. Alert, weak psychic activity detected. Weak? I'm going to make. Hollis, wait! Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jours. Ladies and gentlemen, place your bets. Don't worry, Agent Forsyth. I can fix this.
mesdames et messieurs, rien ne va plus. Ladies and gentlemen, no more bets. Huh. Well, it's different. But maybe it's not so bad? Agent Forsyth? You in here? Oh, I don't like this one bit. Ah! Oh no! Looks like Hollis had a spontaneous change in her worldview. Unrelated to my inappropriate meddling with her thoughts. Who am I kidding? I need to find Hollis's quiet room again and break that bad mental connection I made. Uh... uh yeah, mind stepping aside, buddy? This is an emergency. No. No. No, you don't mind, or like a general no to me. So, uh, 
Your ghosts don't have to walk very... Oh, never mind. Everybody, deal them in stat. Oh. Come on, uh. live, damn you, live. Full recovery. <laughs> you did it, Dr. Potts. Call me Jack. Yep. Let's go for uh. double or nothing. Woo! <gasps> Banana. Banana. Uh. Oh. I'm so sorry, Doctor. Oh, and it can't be helped. Some patients are just yep. bad luck. I don't like the look of these. Mm. Yes, the heart's salvageable, but the rest? Should we fold? No. All right, hold the eight and the clean, and we'll pull for the inside, Jake. I'll just quickly pop into Hollis's quiet place and fix this mess. High Rollers Lounge? That's not good. Oh no! Rasputin, what are you doing here? Sorry, I didn't mean to crash your hospital. Casino. Oh, everyone's welcome in the casino. Without gamblers, how else would we make any money? <laughs> <laughs> no, you just can't be up here because it's the High Rollers Lounge. Wait, Agent Forsyth, I need to tell you. Ah! What the? Just the morgue. Huh? Yes, Rasputin? Uh, we got a patient here. Needs emergency access. Sorry. The table minimum in the High Rollers Lounge is, uh, three gazillion dollars. What? How much is a gazillion? More than you got, kid. <laughs> Open up! My patient is dying! He needs fancy drinks! Stat! In my opinion, your patient needs an emergency dose of three gazillion dollars. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Hi, can I play? Welcome to Palinko, game of luck and skill. Can you get the patient to take her bitter pill? Skill? It looks like it's all luck. Oh, it is. But it takes skill to do it and avoid a serious head injury. Oh, how do I... Good luck! Gotta remember where I parked that thing. Careful in there! Where's her heart? Nice, but it's not the stomach. That spot looks like it was a gazillion dollars. What a ripoff. That machine is broken. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. The Sore Losers Club is down the hall. Wow. He looks like an injectable. But really, he's just a pill. What are you two doing here? You think we're going to let you go alone and get all the extra credit points? I'm just here to gamble. Well, stay away from this game. There's only one spot on the board that pays out. And it's totally blocked. It's like her heart is in the wrong place. Hey, I'll bet I could... Morris? Norma? Where'd they go? Don't give up, man! You'll never win by quitting! Yeah, it's all just a matter of betting on the right color. Don't listen to him, Sonny. Come talk to me if you want some true wisdom. Looks got nothing to do with it, son. I win with my brains. I got math on my side. A formula for victory. Wouldn't the wisest choice be, you know, not gambling? Maybe you should quit while you're ahead. Who says I'm ahead? I've so so much money into this machine and can't just leave it all behind. Actually, I think it's important to know when to quit, especially when playing Guloki with your grandma. Sounds like you've got a method. The secret is you have to listen to the colors. Let the rainbow of lights lead you to the pot of gold. Uh, that doesn't sound like a smart way to make decisions to me. There are some misguided ideas floating around this room. I wish I could help them make smarter sure. decisions. Whoops. Now I'm just reinforcing their old bad thought patterns. That's not going to get me anywhere. <sighs> Need to cut out the thrills in the cafeteria for sure. Whoops. Now I'm just reinforcing their old bad thought patterns. That's not going to get me anywhere. To choose is to lose. I just think there are a lot of unwise decisions. The trick isn't just making decisions, but making the right one. Ah, a little judgment. There's some progress. I guess it's not really bad to quit, if it's the right thing to do at the moment. Moderation. Isn't that a novel concept? Moderation. Now that's the real path. You know what? I think the only way to win is to know when to play and when to stop.
Swallowing your feelings sounds bad. But really, who wants to hear about those ugly things anyway? Even though making new connections is what got me into this mess, I think making a better one here is actually the only way out. Blast that from here. You know, I think holding down all these feelings is giving me a bit of indigestion. Oh, that feels better. Now that her heart is in the right place, I should have better luck if I play the game again. I need another chance. Of course. I mean, you can't lose forever, right? Remember, no pickling! I'm cured! Thank you, Doctor! What? That can't happen. How did you do that? A spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down, I guess. Oh, you're going down all right, once the boss finds out about this. But you ain't taking me with you. I'm out of here. Whatever. Give me that gazillion. Got a gazillion dollars. One lucky card does not make three of a kind, sir.
Dang it, not again. What are you two doing here? Uh, losing by following my foolish heart. What are you thinking? Hearts is like a gazillion to one. A gazillion to one, you say? So if I bid on hearts and one, I'd win a gazillion dollars, right? Hey, where'd you go? For the exam. And they're off. The last bet. Runners, to your starting gates. Prepare the patient for the exam. Are you sure you should be racing? My doctor told me I have to stay off his leg. But he's also my boss, and he told me that if I miss another race, I'll get fired. That's terrible. You're being exploited. Aren't we all? Who am I to complain? I'm not special. What if I raced for you? What? Y you do that for me? Yes, but I can't race looking like this. Well, there's a changing room up there. What am I saying? That's impossible. This is just something I need to do. Different race, same runner. I can do this on my own. I don't need anybody's help. I can't need anybody's help. I hope that's not true, because I ask for help all the time. Again, life is more of a relay race than a wind sprint. Sometimes you need to know when it's time to pass the baton. All I have to do now is place a bet on hearts, and then take hearts' place in the race. That's the last bet. Runners, to your starting gates. Prepare the bet off. I'd like to make a bet. Sure. Which runner suits you this evening? I gotta follow my heart. You never learn, do you? This time for sure. Okay, that's the last bet. Runners, to your starting gates. <laughs> 
Old Heart's content is moving up somehow. Back to the tried and true with Heart's content. Whoopsie, looks like the comeback kid was just kidding after all. Ah, there's the heart's content we all know. And it's heart's content in first place! I don't believe this! A gazillion and one miracle, and you all got to see it! Even if you didn't win, you have to admit, we're all winners here today. <gasps> Not me! Oh, you're done. No more races today! Sorry, we're broke after that race, which reminds me. Don't forget to tip your nurses, you cheapskates. I have two gazillion dollars. Please put the third gazillion on my room tab. Sir, we are offended that you would imply that we would allow mere double gazillionaires into the High Rollers Lounge. I'm making progress, but it's time to wrap this up once and for all. Sasha and me are in danger while I'm here gambling. you two get in here? We followed you. We thought it would be fun, but... It's full of babies! Come on, looking for a little luck here. We have to have a baby. Or you could just, like, have a happy life together. Looks like the house takes it this time. This time? You mean every time. Come on, lovey, let's try another number. We have to win eventually. Well, this is obviously rigged, right? Adam? Lizzie? Guess they really don't like babies. What are you waiting for? Clock's a ticking. Tick tock. Hmm. What about my birthday? Hmm. Huh. No more bets. Let's spin that wheel. Round and round and round it goes. Ten perfect fingers, ten perfect toes. Oh, honey, this is it. Here we go again. Like this time it's double zero. Double zero is the winner. What a lucky break for the house. Haven't hit the gazillion dollar number yet? Oh, this isn't about the money. We are already so rich. So rich. <laughs> yes, we just want a child. More than anything in the world. But the confounded house always wins. I hate to say this out loud, but... I have my suspicions regarding the up and upness of this lowdown dive. This system is rigged. Maybe I could help unrig it. Oh, if you could do that, you could have all the money. Yes, we don't care about that. Because we're so rich. Yes, very wealthy, it's true. But poor in children. Help us win a baby, and you, sir, can have the gazillion dollar prize. And our eternal gratitude. Leave it to me. Who wants a baby? Hmm. Hmm. Spinning time! I know you're not supposed to say this, but money really does solve a lot of problems. 
Well, of course, the whole system is rigged. But I mean, I'm just one person. What could I do about it? We can unrig this game, but you gotta believe it's possible first.
we can change things unless we try. And we have a winner! Looks like this time it's... Not double zero? What? We... We... We won! Well, I guess miracles do happen. You're telling us. Oh, we are so happy. Well, I'm dead. Here, young man. I don't know what you did, but I'm a man of my word. We don't need it, because... You're rich? Yes, but we don't like to talk about it. Oh, look at our little jackpot. When does it start fulfilling all of our unachieved ambitions? Right after we use its identity to hide our excess taxable income. Oh, it will be so nice to have a couple of spare kidneys around the house. It's just a mental baby. It's just a mental baby. Sorry. The High Rollers Lounge only Triple admits... Gazillionaires, of course. I would belong to no lesser club. Now, let me in before I call my expensive lawyer. Well then, please come in, sir. If you're willing to take the risk. Agent Foresight, I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Aquato, I hope you're not trying to take credit for my brilliant idea for solving all the Psychonauts' financial problems. Yes! I mean, no! I mean, I made some bad connections in your mind, and there was some sort of a bad idea chain reaction, and now... You calling a bad idea? I am the sweetest of dreams, the spirit of unbeatable optimism. I am the ultimate victory of hope over mathematics. I am the Lady Lucktopus, but you can call me Lucky. You are my own creation. I command you to stop. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded so much cooler than Sasha said. It's time to see what the cards have in store for you. But don't worry, I'm a fair dealer. Although, I do like to keep a couple of jokers up my sleeve. Can you believe we got caught in? So embarrassing. We can't get to our smelling salts! We can't leave her mind! Don't let us die in here, man! You know what happens when you die in someone's mind, right? If you die inside mind, you pee your pants! Get ready to play! This could be your lucky day! But I wouldn't bet on it. I come to my yo yo, but I think I should just card you like the rest. Ooh, that's not good. Unless you like bombs. Oh, wait, this is just cover. This card jail is really not cool. <laughs> there are no holes on me. A bomb. Well, cheer up. Maybe you'll get a pair. Hey. Nice shot, Goober. All right, let's free the others together now. No, you two get out of here before she cards you again. 
Try to wake up Agent Forsyth in the physical world. You sure? Yes. Now beat it. Kids got some spirit. I think he just doesn't want us to see him cry. No, you can't kick me out. I uh, this is this is my casino. Go, shooter. Come on, seven. I'm back. Back in action. How much did I lose? Doesn't matter. Still in the game, still in the game. No time to walk away. After all, I still have some valuable cards here. Ooh, I need to cover up that blemish. You have a system. The situation is not ideal. The system is just irresponsible. Looks like it's time for a fresh deck. Rescue him! You can do this, but please do it quickly. Oh. Were you looking for the? Ooh, you're in luck. This card comes with a free prize. <laughs> 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 That's my friend right there. It's about to... Ah! That was amazing, man. Now let's save the others. We need to get back to the suite and help Sasha and Mia. But... Clean up the rest of your mess, okay? Got me there, Norma. Everything on red. Hit me. Mm. Oh, quit it. Okay, that time I was just faking it, right? Right. Hey, let everybody go. I still have you guys, right? You got it, Chief. <laughs> On second thought, where's my shredder? Rasputin, hurry! The sad thing is, Relock is going to so take gambling. Soon I'll feed him to my beak. Oh no! Looks like the patient has flatlined. Let's shock the system. Someone say, hit me harder. Look at him go! <laughs> When it comes to bombs, I like to go all in. borrow my board for a whole week for that shot. Woo! You two go help the others. I just have one last thing to do. Come on, I understand. He doesn't want his friends to see him take a life. I caused this mess, and now I'm going to finish it. I'm... I'm... I'm on a roll. How's... Always mm, wins. Ugh. Ugh. Why? Why would you destroy me? Me, the ant 
answer to all your problems! All your problems! What the? Who put this here? It's all wrong. It's all wrong! Tear it all down! Wait, what are you doing here? You can't see this! Agent Forsyth, hold on! I can explain! This is actually... This is all my fault. I used mental connection to... To change some things in your mind. To make some new connections. I didn't think... You did what? I... I'm sorry. That... Explains everything. I knew I wasn't this stupid. I mean, I have a degree in mathematics, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was really losing it. <laughs> but it turns out my only problem was you. Wait, wait. I, I can explain. I. You're right. I knew it was wrong the second I did it. I'm ashamed of myself. I violated your trust and very idea of what it means to be a psychonaut. I guess I'm not ready for this after all. I'll pack up my stuff. You don't need to do that. You're right. I don't even have any stuff to pack. I'll just go. No. Listen. You're right about violating trust. What you did was wrong. Very wrong. But... Truth is... I pulled a... similar stunt once. Really? Only the person whose brain I messed with... I couldn't put them right again. They had to call in the Psychonauts to undo what I did. That's when I met Truman Zanato. He taught me how to apply my powers in a responsible way. The Psychonauts. We're not here to change people's minds, Raz. Not here to fix people. We're here to help people fight their own demons. The ones they already have. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. You're not at camp anymore, Raz. People could live or die on this mission. <gasps> The mission! Zip it and gather round, class. Where did you... Did you not hear the first thing I said about zipping it? Stand by for instructions. Shoehorn, dustpan, this is Teacup. Agent Forsyth, where have you... Shoehorn, I reversed the main fan. Let it push you back down the vent, and then climb into the hatch labeled 375H. Then, move forward and take two consecutive rights. You'll be able to drop down directly into the office from that spot. Teacup? Dustpan. Tell the guards you're a contractor from Halifax Security. You're here to inspect the card shuffling machine. Your clearance code is 99853. I have the real inspector trapped in the fourth floor bathroom. So avoid that area. Roger that, Teacup. Shoehorn, I've disabled all side detectors and inhibitors. But it's only temporary, so be quick. Check. I'm entering the office. This is Dustpan. I'm sweeping the guards out of the area. The key reader is operational. Got a room number for a Shoehorn? Yes, it's the North Tower Penthouse 3896. But can we get up there if the side detectors come back online? I have an operative in position. You and Dustpan pull out and return to the pantry immediately. Did you catch that intel, Egg Beater? Teacup, this is Egg Beater. I'm in position and have a visual on the North Tower penthouse. All right. Time to make the omelet. Roger. On the move. Your classmates are on their way to offer support. Did you not hear that last part either? I forgot to mention, Egg Beater. There doesn't seem to be any path to the North Tower from here. I guess I'll just have to make one. I got you, Raz. Just remember everything I taught you about rail grinding. Is this 
go all the way up to the penthouse? Up? Uh-oh. <laughs> you know, up is more my thing, right? Take these to the top, my friend. Thanks, Morris. Hey, how are even for that octopus thing? No one's keeping score, Morris. I am. Don't worry. I got this. No, wait, Norma, let me get off this. Thanks, Norma. Anytime. <laughs> uh oh. More anti side roads. Steal my chips. Knock it off. Don't you know that's bad luck? Uh, look, I can explain. I think that about explains it. I really have to get one of those. Watch out! Eggie, uh -huh. is the omelet ready to flip? Hey, so what's at the end of this thing? Power! Sam, what are you... Of... Oh, no. Everybody, I felt a lot of psycho synergy there. That's not a word. Get in. I'm sending you to the penthouse. Careful, egg beater. We have no idea what to expect up there. I'm ready for anything. Except <coughs> that. What? What is it, Eggbeater? I'm not sure, but <coughs> I think it must be <coughs> rotten caviar. Note it. Please continue. Why would Nick John Smith have a key to this hotel room in his pocket? <gasps> Is he running a caviar smuggling ring? to take in. Did you find evidence of delusionist activity? You could say that. I think I found the headquarters of the Maligula fan club. This feels like more than just a history buff. Hey, 
Did you know Maligula's body was missing? We've been tracking the situation, but it was her mind that was dangerous, not her body. Yeah, but what reason could someone have for stealing... Uh-oh. What is it? Rescue? I think somebody misses Maligula. A lot. Bring us all the evidence you can find, Eggbeater. Especially anything that could help us identify the double agent in the Psychonauts. Will do. Books are pseudoscience mumble jumble. There's nothing in these papers that identifies our double agent. I'm afraid there's only one prime suspect right now. Who? Nick. No. no. The key was on his body. He has to be connected somehow. But how could he kidnap Truman if he was in a box? Brainless. Good point. There must be another. By the way, where were you, Hollis, when I was trapped in the- Oh look! We're landing! Great job, everybody! Let's regroup in my classroom for mission debriefing! I guess I should see if I can find anything in these ridiculous books. And I'll take a closer look at these papers. Oh, Sasha. I just don't know who to trust anymore. I know I should show this to the others, but I want to talk to Lily about it first. Alone. Scanning access granted. Trust you. May I speak to you for a minute? Oh, but... Okay. Is this about what happened in Hollis's mind? Yes. I can explain. No need. <laughs> Do you remember this place, Rasputin? It's... the collective unconscious. The shared portion of all human psyches. I thought this might be a good place to talk about the incredible access we Psychonauts have, and the trust that goes with it. I know. I really messed up. I thought I could fix it. You thought you could manipulate another person's mind, to bend their will to your own. There are few things worse, Rasputin. Agent Forsyth seems to feel you've learned your lesson and that no further consequences are needed. I think she's being too lenient. Next time you find yourself in someone's mind and it occurs to you to overreach your boundaries, use this. Smelling salts? These will cause you to exit the brain immediately before any damage is done. You may also use this place to return to some of the mines you've already visited, of course, if you feel there is some unfinished business there. Use the smelling salts when you feel ready to leave. Thanks, Sasha. And I'm sorry... What am I missing? Scanning for thinker print. Access granted. Lily, how is he? Oh, Raz, I can't figure 
out what's wrong. These plants are supposed to feed off his psychic energy and help me figure out what's going on. But they keep dying. I think his Silurian poisoning must be worse than we thought. Listen, Lily. I have to talk to you about something I found on the casino mission. Have you been contacted by any strangers or, or even someone you know acting funny, trying to... To turn me into a spy and help kidnap my dad? Is that what you're implying? No, but I wanted to warn you. People are going to ask. Look, I know I talk smack about the Psychonauts and say they aren't what they used to be. And I know I'm a terrible daughter and a disappointment to my father, okay? But, but, oh, never mind! Lily, hang on! Rasputin. Truman! You're awake! Hang on, let me tell the others! No, Rasputin, no one must know. There's a spy among us. We don't know who to trust. But... If the wrong person hears what I'm about to tell you, People could die. But, Lily! We must keep this information from her, to protect her. Truman, I don't understand. Who kidnapped you? I only saw that psycho in the shower cap. But Lobato must have had help. We think it's the delusionists. And they're even trying to bring back... Maligula. It's true. That's what I was working on when I was taken. They can't really bring her back, though, right? Sasha says it's impossible. It wouldn't be the first time the Psychonauts underestimated Maligula's power. Listen, Rasputin. Maligula is coming back. And we only have one hope. There's one person who knows how to fight her. You need to bring him here. Bring back Ford Cruller. Can you do that for me, Raz? Can you bring back Agent Cruller and find out what he knows? Uh... Rasputin, this is a mission about the fate of the world. And I have no one else I can trust. You must bring Ford here. Can you do that? Yes, if I can find some bacon. I'm... I'm going to ignore that last part because it makes no sense to me. But I'm trusting that you know what you're doing. And I'm trusting that you'll tell no one, no one, Rasputin. The fate of the free-thinking world is in your hands. Okay, Grandhead Zanato. You can trust me. I'll get Ford. Good boy. Go now. We're running out of time. I bet this key goes to that supply chest I have. Did the bacon delivery come in yet? Yep, and I'm already sold out. Sorry. What? You don't have one piece of bacon? Well, just the one I was saving for my ferrets. Okay, you can have it. It fell on the floor anyway. I don't mind. Gross. Okay, I'm closing up shop. Enjoy your dirty bacon, kid. Well... Here goes nothing. I'm not sure if you're still a psychic stowaway inside my head, Ford. But if you are... Ooh, is that honey pepper boar bacon? Oh, I haven't had that since my days back at... Headquarters? Rasputin, what are you doing back here? I, I, I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, but I do miss the old honey pepper. We need you here, Agent Crawler. Grand Ed Zanotto asked for you himself. Hmm. 
What's that? Huh? Oh, you found Truman. Oh, good, good. Good, good job there, Rasputin. Yes. And he says you're the only one who can help us fight Maligula. Right. Uh, Maligula? Yes, someone's trying to bring her back to life. And there's a mole in the Psychonauts, and we have a ton of work to do. Yes, the work to do. Shoes to clean, hair to cut, mail to sort. Now, if you don't mind, Agent Crawler, I'm just gonna take a quick peek under the hood to see what we're dealing with here. Oh, sure, kid. Knock yourself out. Interesting. The campfire at Whispering Rock. I haven't been here for... I remember this guy. He always seemed to be missing something up top to me. Aha! Here's the top of that stump and a little torch. So it was Ford Crawler in his prime. That's more like it. Right. There were seven stumps at camp. Lucretia Mux. Huh. Wonder why she's not included in the Psychic Six. I mean, I guess because that would make it the Psychic Seven. But still, she must have been important, or Ford wouldn't have carved her. Otto Mentalis. Well, he looks basically the same. Ah, uh, poor Helmet Fullbear. I guess so he'll never get to Uncle see Bob. his famous psychotacy. Man, that beard must have taken forever to carve. I hope I get to meet Cassiopeia someday. I have some questions about her book. There's a note to Ford in here. Looks like it's from Otto Mentalis. Crawler, I think it's time we add a third psychic to our research team. Her name is Lucretia Mux. She's hoping to get out of Grulovia, where her husband was just killed in the war. I know you have concerns about hydraulic mining, Ford, but with Lucretia's powerful hydrokinesis, we could wash the Cytanium out of these caves in no time. This is worse than I thought. Well, I seem to remember the inside of your mind wasn't so neat and tidy either. Agent Cruller, I'm here to help. I want to unshatter your mind. Nah, don't bother. I've tried for years. Whoever dropped the kablooey on this mind really didn't want to put back together again. And to tell you the truth, there were some parts of this old brain that weren't doing me much good anyway. Who needs to think about the past all the time, eh? Some memories are best left alone. Now let's get out of here before that bacon gets cold. But Ford! <laughs> now I'm not saying it will be easy, but let's just go see Truman, and I'm sure he'll... Agent Crawler? Ford? Oh man, I need to find him before I report back to Truman. What was that work he said he had to do? Something about mail? 
And hair? And shoes? Right there, let's just ask. Sorry, booked up all day. I can wait. You sure a shampoo can, but unless I get a cancellation, you're out of luck. That's one Agent Cruller located. Need to find the other two before I regroup with Agents in Autumn. Improve your networking skills with our new mental connection pins. Agent Cruller, I need to talk to you. Sorry, Senior League hours. Only members of the Senior League allowed. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's much left of the Senior League. Except for Compton Bull? No kidding. Huh. Under office number, it just says psycho-isolation. Why would his office be in psycho-isolation? Guess I need to get out there to find out. Two forts down. Only one more to find before I can go back to Truman. Scanning access granted. Hmm, there's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. Agent Cruller, it's me, Raz. Permission to enter? Negative. Senior staff only. Ford, it's me. And who are you? <sighs> Don't you realize who I am? Wait. If Nick John Smith is mentoring interns, he must be senior staff, right? I'm telling my dad. I should talk to him. Special. Oh, no! Mr. John Smith! Hang on, Nick. I'll get you out of there. Somehow. There, man. There you go, Nick. Now stay away from these machines. Hey, Nick. You're senior staff, right? Pony? Can you help me get into the back room? I need to talk to Agent Crawler. Flat rate. Look, Nick. I have a wild idea. Bear with me. If I get you a loner brain, of equal or greater value to your own. Then you help me get into the back room. Plus, I'll bet the loner brain will keep you safe from all this machinery. First class. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Now, where can I find a brain? That's the final Ford. Time to debrief Truman. I think I'm gonna need his help. Truman. It's okay, we're alone. Where's Crawler? I got him to the base, but now he's locked in the bowling alley. And also the mailroom. And the hair salon. Hmm, sounds like he's reverting to some old behavior. He's no good to us like that. I think I could help him, if I could just get closer to him. But to get closer, I need to do some stuff outside the base. Hmm. Put your head near this brain. Uh, thing. I should be able to... <laughs> There! Full access. That should let you search the whole place, inside and out. Okay. I'll try to get Ford and bring him back here. No, Raz. You're going to find Ford Crawler, and you're going to fix him. You're going to make Ford Crawler whole again. This is just another mind in torment, Raz. It needs a psychonaut to fix it. And I believe in you, Raz. I know you're ready for this. Yes, sir, Agent Zanotto. I won't let you down. I'll put Ford back together again. Godspeed, Psychonaut. Scanning for fingerprint. Full access granted. Welcome, Grand Head Zanotto. Hello, side challenge. 
damage marker. Card! Uh, oh! Oh! Ah. Excuse me, Delgado. Please report to the front desk. You have a visitor? What? Rasputin Avocado, you have multiple visitors waiting for you. Scanning for thinker print. Dad? Rasputin, my boy. Tell me, son. Did you show them? Did you show them all? Uh, well, yeah, we rescued Truman from the kidnappers, so... I guess? That's my boy. So I suppose that means you're running this whole place now. Dad, what are you doing here? What? Well, we're here to support you, son. We? Of course. You really opened my eyes about the whole psychic thing, son. I'd been acting like a fool, I know that now. But your mother... I knew she'd need more convincing. She's not, after all, like us, psychics, I mean. You don't have to whisper that here. So, I thought if she saw where you were working and met all your new friends... My mom's here. Son, the whole family is here! Oh, no. been practicing your acrobatics? Uh. 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 He's definitely let his muscle tone suffer. Hey, hey, hey! I think he's put on a little weight. Just what is going on out here? Rasputin, stop goofing around and explain yourself. Who are these people? We are the Aguatos! Traveling thrill givers and practitioners of the acrobatic arts! Great! Well, this is a highly restricted area. The campgrounds are over the hill. Now, if you wouldn't mind hauling that wreck off our landing pad. What did you say? If it's too much trouble to haul it, I could always burn it for you. Please, excuse us. We are Rasputin's family. We've come here to support him, not get in the way. We'll move our caravan to the campgrounds. Ah, uh, I want to play in the jet. Maybe your brother can give us a tour later. Whenever he's ready, he knows where to find us. Bye, Pooter. <laughs> <laughs> that was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. This card lying around.
almost have it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Looks like the Aquato family circus has traveled through here all right. Yep, we had to hightail it out into the woods because you're ashamed of being an Aquato. I'll stop being ashamed of that. If you stop being ashamed of being a psychic. <laughs> oh, you're asking for it, Raspy. Frazy, it's okay. You can tell Dad now. You don't have to hide anymore. <sighs> this is your last warning. Frazy? More where that came from. Give you. Mom? I mean, if little children never ran away from home, where would the circus get her workers, huh? Uh. What matters is that the Aquatos are all together again. And this little adventure of yours has actually given me fresh inspiration for our act. Me too! Did you see that unnatural and slightly gimmicky waterfall over there? The one blowing upside down? Stay away from it. No water. Too late, Nona. It has already watered the flower of inspiration in my heart and blossomed in two. Guess what I called it. Guess. The upside down waterfall? The devil's fire hose. Let's show our runaway how we do it, everybody. Creepy on the bottom. This would be easier if you didn't use so much hair grease. It'd be easier if your head weren't so pointy. Now, Rasputin, up top you go. Yes, son. And then you could add a little psychic flourish by levitating this pine cone. No, no. Then we pass each person up the tower like water flowing. No psychic flourishes. I told you. We. Oui. Our acrobats. We don't do parlor tricks. Uh, guys. Why not a little of both? Pops. Oh, Gretchen. You guys. Oh, shush. This is why we taught you how to fall as babies. <sighs> it's no use. We need the aquatodon. <clears throat> I'm on it. Help him out, would you, Booty? He's had to take on so much extra work since you abandoned your family and broke our hearts. That's a good boy. If there's one thing the Aquatos know how to do, it's making themselves at home. Anyway. Cards piling up, turn them into side challenge markers with a side core from the automatic. Oh, no. 
almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Excuse me, Ford. Sorry, with a client right now. Obviously. Would you mind if I jumped into your mind for a second? Just to even out some split ends. If it'll keep you quiet, then go right ahead. Well, not to worry. A fresh cut and you'll feel like a whole new person. Just make sure you cut away the right parts or your old friends will recognize you. I'm here to recover a piece of Ford's mind. And something tells me it's up in that lighthouse. You get rid of those things, but they always seem to come back. This is their home. You're just a visitor. Ha, ha, ha. Die, you annoying pests! Oh my. Well, um, 
accidents happen. Uh, yeah, that was no accident. That was brilliant problem solving. trunk tag. Cleaned up the streets? Those were peaceful protesters, Lucy. Lucy?
It's me, Raz. Are you really the same person I used to know? Ford, I just saw you. Remember the bacon? I can't even recognize the person you become. I feel a bad storm gathering. Drawn close. Very close. Uh, hey guys, that's a little bit too close, okay? such a relief to hear you say that. You're something from deep inside her. Something dangerous we accidentally unlocked. <sighs> hey, you lousy little mite. How'd you get in here? Don't push me. I'll gargle a whole bottle of hydrocide if I need to. Go! <gasps> oh. Lucretia went to Grulovia. She went back to protect her family, to help her country. Oh, but it changed her. War changes everybody. Inside all of us, we all have dark roots. Well, sometimes we need that darkness to survive. Careful. Sometimes it's hard to get it back in the bottle. For a sec. Ford? Huh. I guess he finished up. Well, if you see Ford tell him he did a great job, I feel like a completely different person. Got one piece of Ford's mind connected. Now for the other two. I hope I'm doing the right thing. The agent Zanato is right. We'll need Ford at full capacity if we're gonna have a chance. Finally! I thought you'd never say hi. I tell ya, I have been waiting for someone to come visit for a long time. I was starting to think I was invisible. You ever get that feeling? Well, there was this one girl who looked kind of like a blue scarecrow. But she scared me. But you seem nice. So did I guess your name right? It's Raz. Oh, that was the very next name I was going to say, I swear. So, how long are you committing yourself for? Committing myself to what? Psycho-isolation, silly. We don't commit people anymore without their consent. Unless they're a danger to themselves or others. How many people you got in there? Oh, just Agent Boole right now. He likes it in there. Keeps him from feeling overwhelmed by all the you-know-what in the woods. Ghosts? Voices. He can't shut them out. Can you believe he even finds me overwhelming? <laughs> so anyway, I've got a nice room ready for you if you'd like it. Actually, I'm just here to visit Agent Bool. Oh, well, okay. Just be careful. Don't ask him too many things at once, or he'll curl up into a little ball and something might explode. Hi!
Hmm. I see what you're doing there. Hmm. Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Looks like there's a Senior League membership card stuck in this frame. Hey, don't even look at that. It's private. Agent Bull? Huh? Hi, I'm Rasputin. I'm a friend of your grandson. Oh, no. He hasn't hurt anybody else, has he? No humans that I know of. Good. <laughs> Good. I see Lizzie introduced you to Harold. Oh, no. Harry Kasparov here showed up on his own. So why is Lizzie still out there looking for animals? Oh, well, I mostly sent her away just because there was too many voices in here. Hint, hint. Agent Bull, I need your help. Oh, no. With what? I need a Senior League membership card. What? Well, don't look at mine. Please, Agent Bull. It's important. That bowling card is a precious memento of a dear friend. Oh, I'm sorry. Did she... die? No, no, she's somewhere. Out in the forest. What? Well, let's go find her. Well, I've tried for years, but I just can't anymore. I need help catching the mole and the psychonauts. Sorry, don't do moles. They're little snuts. Give me the heebie-jeebies. No, I mean there's a counter-spy in the organization. Oh, well, I'm retired from spy work. A danger to myself and to others, they say. Who would say that? Me. I need help fighting Maligula. Ah! You need to warn a gentleman before slapping him in the face with a name like that. She's long gone, but the scars are still painful. Someone's trying to bring Maligula back. Ah! Well, I, I suppose I had enough warning that time. Listen, Maligula is dead and gone. Even if she were to return, I was no help fighting her the first time. I'll be sitting out any future molecular battles for everyone's protection. For everyone's protection. Please let me borrow your Senior League membership card. No! Now buzz off! <laughs> buzz off! Hey, hang on a second! Exactly what I was thinking, Harold. The bees could help. Cassie and I always loved working with bees in the forest. If you could bring me just one bee, I'll bet I could talk to it and find out where my Cassie is. No kidding? Here, take this and hurry. Okay, one bee coming up. Okay. I'm off to the forgetful forest to find a bee for Agent Fool. This is a serious mission, no matter how adorable it sounds. Hi! Scanning for thinkerprint. Access granted. Ow! Oops! Sorry, little brother. I thought you were a rabid squirrel. Knock it off, Crazy! <laughs> Man, this part of the woods... Crazy? I know it's you. I'm not stupid. Ah! <laughs> ah! ah, crud, it's you. I thought I finally caught a critter. 
Why are you hunting? Aren't they feeding you? I'm interning with Compton Bull. He sent me out here to catch him some animals. I really don't know if you should be bringing animals to Agent Bull. His grandson is a friend of mine, but that family can be a little bit rough on animals. Oh? And you've never side-blasted a squirrel, nature boy? Uh... That's what I thought. Anyway, it's no use. I'd have to go deeper into the forgetful forest for any really good animals. And there's no way I'm going in there. Why? Telekinetic bears? <gasps> Has nobody told you? About the green needle witch who haunts these woods? Her mother was a banshee, and her father was a porcupine. Let me guess. She hates children and kills them on sight. No, she loves children. She follows them through the forest, and when she catches them, she gives them a big hug. That doesn't sound so... Impaling them on her needles, filling them with holes. Okay, if you could just let me down now... Children, beware. She's there. She's there. The Green Needle Witch has waited. She wants a hug. Don't dare. Don't dare. Or soon you'll be perforated. <laughs> I'm getting a strong psychic sense that Lizzie and Norma are sisters. Sibling detection is one of the less celebrated tools in the Psychonauts playbook. The kind they don't give badges for. Looks like a great place to get those bees for Compton. Okay, I'm just gonna take one of you on a little trip to see an old friend. Ooh, I got three. Even better. Not so fast. Lizzie? I just got that thing set again. The Green Needle Witch! Where? Th that way! That way! Ugh, you poor city kid. Do yourself a favor and stay indoors where it's safe. Phew! Okay. Better get these bees back to Compton so we can find his friend. And so I can get that senior league pass. Agent Bull, I got some visitors here who are really excited to. Ah, I said one. I only needed one bee. Shoo, shoo, get out of here. I got extra. They seem friendly. Oh no, don't all talk at once, please. I can't take it. I can't. 
It's too much. Too much. Oh no. Don't explode. And don't explode me. Agent Bull? Ah! Want me to kill those bees? No! What's wrong? Too many voices. Too many everything. Would you mind if I made a quick and very quiet, uh, wellness check inside your mind? Ah! Uh. Scream once for yes, I may enter your mind, and twice for no. Ah! Uh. Great! Out of my way, bees. No, not yet. I'm not ready. Cassie's not here. Not ready for what? Dinner. Uh-oh. Let me guess. We're on the menu? No. Worse. Judgment! Court is in session! Please remain standing! If you're able. Five-minute recess. Oh, no, 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 no! Captain? Anything but this. It's time for... Ram, Ram it, it down! down! <laughs> Good Eve, and welcome to Ram It Down. I'm your host, Tin Can Zanotto, and tonight... We'll watch one lucky contestant prepare three increasingly complicated dishes in an attempt to please our celebrity judges. Impossible! He'll never do it. He's nothing without Cassie. <laughs> and he's the nice one. <laughs> well, let's get to our first dish. A tragic delicacy from a troubled nation. A Grulovian drowned egg. Ooh. First, our contestant will have to find a very outspoken egg. Ooh, me! Pick me! Boil it in hot water. I'm all fired up and ready to go. Prepare it with an unruly onion. He said my name! That's been sliced into pieces. Just call me Pork Chopper. Put them both together on a plate and see if the judges can bear two... Finish your dish before the clock runs out, and you'll win valuable prizes from the Mystery Box! What do you say? Think you're up to the challenge? Sounds easy. We got this. 
Right, partner? Partner? Yeah, what was I expecting? The ship has the egg. <gasps> it's happening! Careful, <laughs> that's Steve's. Help this, Gogo. Bite off you. Just sit there resting on your boils. We've got other ingredients to prepare. Yep. What's that sound? Ah, here's the hat box tag. Ooh, this is a bad time for watermelon, folks. Slice me up, I dare you! Boiling. Ooh, this is more than I thought I would. He's boiled the egg. We make a great team. Let's see if he can get it to the plate. <laughs> He's assembled all his ingredients. If Chef would just hit that button, we can begin the presentation. Did we make it? I... I'm not sure. Eat! 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 Well, eight, here eight, we eight, are. Eat! At eight, the moment eight, of eight, truth. Eight, Will eight, we be looking eight, at a drowned eight, egg? Eight, or a drowned eight, contestant? Eat! 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 Reveal! The meal! So, what we did was, we took an egg. Boring. And we popped it into the water. Pedestrian! Uh, then, uh, then Chef had the idea to uh, withhold the salt at just the right moment to create a sense of, uh, longing within the yolk, if you will. You what? We think it really improves the nose feel of the composition. Hmm, compelling. Bone up it. Surprisingly acceptable. And that's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box. Well, don't just stand there resting on your laurels. That one was a gimme. Let's see how you do on your next dish. Shoo! Congratulations! You did it! How does it feel? Um, well... Fantastic! Well, get ready, because it's time for your next dish! Right after this commercial message. Ah! 
This one won't be so easy. You got that right. For your next dish, you'll be creating a strawberry jam croque madame. Ooh la la! You'll need to boil another egg. <laughs> easy. Take some bread. I've already risen to the occasion. Slice it up. Bread's much nicer once it's been through the slicer. And fry it up on the griddle. I'm getting ready to rip it. Flip out! What about the strawberry, huh? Hey! <laughs> Glad you asked. We'll need not just any strawberry, but a strawberry that's been... blended. Did someone call for patty puree? All right, monsieur. It's time to show us your best madame. I wonder which ingredient he'll select first. I think I hear something. Walk in the kitchen, please. Especially with that. some emotional baggage here. <gasps> that doesn't smell right. I'm lighter than I look, right? Right? It's slicing time. <sighs> that device is tricky. Pushes that button, the chopping begins. Get me in that pan, man. I think I hear something. You better get up here before I grow. <laughs> Bread needs to get fried. Oh. Yeah. Only five more seconds. Oh, sorry, I can't do it. What's that sound?
disappointed. Chef needs to get that strawberry blended right away. That would never happen to Cassie. Careful, I lost an arm in there once. What's it going to taste human flesh? Well, it's the relationship. Chef needs to blend that strawberry. Right now, it's a choking hazard. Moving blades, razor sharp. What could possibly go on? That button will serve the judges. Did we make it? I, I'm not sure. We'll find out. I... Croak, 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 croak. What do you think, Chef? Croak, croak, Did you get caught in a jam? Croak, 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 Are you worried about croaking? Croak, 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 what do you have to say for yourself? We have uh, attempted to infuse this dish with, um... Curiosity and resilience. The more sensitive palates among you will also discern just a dash of regret. <laughs> Slightly better than a mouthful of nails. That's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box! Now be gone! And bring us more food! Well, you two must be feeling great after producing such a quality product for our judges. And speaking of quality products, it's time for a word from one of our sponsors. <laughs> Oh, God. 
of law. Thank you for helping me, young man. I don't know what I'd do without you. How would you feel about taking a little break before I push that button to start the next dish? That's just what the doctor ordered. Yep. You know, we might just get through this. Oh, I hope I didn't just jinx it. Me too, because it's time for our third and final dish. Straight from the Lumber Stack Diner, it's the Honey Pepper Pancake Stacker. You'll need another egg. We're old friends. He boiled my dad and grandfather. Oh, but this time that egg needs to fry. Then I'm your guy. Next, you'll need a boar. I'm just a pig, but trust me, I'm game! Get it? Whatever, as long as that pig gets sliced. That's a little sick, man. And fried. Wait, I gotta pull a double shift? To give our pancake stack that signature beehive look, you're going to be using an actual beehive. Woohoo, I'm all a buzz! I wish Cassie were here to handle those bees. But wait, there's more. The final touch of summery sweetness comes from a watermelon. It's about Tom! That's been chopped! Sure, I guess. Uh, kind of still thinking about that pig, though. And then blended! Oh. <laughs> Looks like I'm the big finish. No pressure, but this is Ford Cruller's favorite dish. To mess this up would be an insult to the very heart of the Psychonauts. Yeah. So, chefs, better get cooking. Chef needs to boil that beehive next. Oh, I can feel it's helping my lower back already! They eat me on the 4th of July because I taste like freedom! Said I never fly. Look at me now, haters. Come on, let's get this over with. I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. Yeah. Jeff is now clear to push the chopping button. Come 
no strawberries in this dish. <laughs> I could work a miracle with that. that egg, I'm telling you. Seconds to go. I don't want to panic you, but I would say panic would not be completely inappropriate at a time like this. Five seconds. Well, for better or worse, it looks like the dish is assembled. Lumber stack! Lumber stack! Lumber stack! Have I mentioned that when prepared stack, improperly, the honey stack, pepper pancake stack 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 can produce an interesting byproduct? No? I didn't mention the possibility of a deadly swarm of killer bees? Ah, no matter. Let's see what we got. Reveal! The meal! <gasps> Is that the tallest stack you can manage? It's taller than it looks. Because we put the literal height of the horizontality of the flavor profile, if you will. <laughs> Moderately pleasant. That's not all. By finishing within the time limit, you've opened the mystery box! Well, Chef, it looks like you've won over not just our judges, but also our audience. How do you feel? I, uh, well, I, I, I couldn't have done it without this young man here. No way! You can totally do this on your own now, Agent Bull. No, don't say that. That's great to hear. Because it's time for... What, audience? Double down! No! That's right. It's time to double down! Chef will be cooking alone in our isolation station, completely dependent on his sous chef to gather the ingredients he needs for the final three dishes. Don't worry, Agent Bull. I'll get you all the ingredients you need. What do you think, judges? Ready for another course? No problem. We're... professionals. Uh, we might have to... make a little room. Okay. First dish is vegetable medley. Ingredients on the board. I'm getting out of here before things get messy. disgusting. I hold the key to our victory. Young boy. Here we go. Mm. Oh, that's not going to help. Why are you touching that regurgitated matter? It can't be good for you. Why is he picking up the wrong ingredient, I wonder? I'm sorry. Did I mumble when I told you what I needed? Oh, I don't like it in here. <laughs> <laughs> More ingredients. Perfect choice. But is it too late? Oh, excellent. Find me an egg, young man, or we're doomed. I think Cassie would say we'll just take a little money vegetables and clear of the goat wretch for my sake. Run! 
Jeff seems to be holding it together in the isolation station. Oh, oh, I, I wouldn't touch that. Can I please tell me this batch has the ingredient? I oh, really hate to see that. I'm going to get wrong. Please stay clear. Take it. The doctor ordered. I need to stop it. Go just charge it. So. Oh, it's a strong word, but that's exactly the thing. Hurry now. That is the final ingredient. Now I just have to make this dish all by myself. You can do it. I shall certainly try. You stay safe down there while I do my best. He did it! We did it! As you know, in the double down round, the chef's assistant must serve the dish to the judges. Let's see if this young man has a passion for service. Uh-oh. Judges are so full, they're not eating. I'm gonna have to serve them myself. Oh, it looks like our judge liked that dish. Perhaps a little too much. Oh, but it looks like someone's ready to get back in the mix. That's ah, gonna be messy. I'm out of here. Second dish is Royal Borscht. Good luck. Quickly, go through the freshly digested bunch and find me my ingredient. Well, it's about time you found one of those. Perfect. Mm. Can you come jump into my kitchen, will you? I, I wouldn't touch that if I did. You can do this, Compton. Just clear your mind. I think I might never eat again. More ingredients. Oh, that's great! Mm. Oh. Oh. Why are you touching that regurgitated matter? It can't be the and it must be undoubtedly warm. Oh, Please tell me this batch has the ingredient we need. Oh, looks like he's got a good one. Relatively special. I could slightly take a moment on this one, but I should have up with him. Let's see if he can do Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It looks incredible, but here the judges say it's inedible. Serve it before it gets up and walks away.
All right, let's see if our second judge can exercise a little more moderation. Uh-oh, someone's been over-served. <laughs> and it looks like they're getting ready to flip out. But our final dish is no laughing matter. Mess up these jam tarts, and you'll find yourself in a sticky situation. <laughs> It seems like the sous chef has picked up the wrong ingredient. Finally! Here's Spatula! There's gotta be a water bottle somewhere. Oh, you hate to see that. I'm going to close my eyes. Hmm. Mm. Ah. Quickly, well, sort through that partially digested bounty and find me my ingredients. That's better. Oh, yes! Where are we going to get strawberry? Bachelor attack! Oh, here come some fresh candidates. Well, fresh is a strong word, but the oh, no. he's got the wrong ingredient again. We don't need one of those right now. It's the last ingredient of all. I, I don't want to taste it, but I feel like this one will be my best one yet. Dinner in a minute. Well, who are these jammy fellows? Serve them quickly, young man. You never know what these things might do. Run for the hills, folks! Well, I don't know about you, but I've certainly had my fill of excitement today. All right, everybody, let's clean up this mess. Aww. Come on, get a move on. Clean kitchen, clean mind. Ah, uh, you see, this is why I usually get takeout. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is so Cassie. But what do you mean they won't let her out? What librarian? Hmm. Here, my boy. You've earned this. I need to go find Cassie right away. Lost? We'll never get lost. I know that forest like the back of my hand. Wait! Don't you want... help? Hmm. Guess he doesn't. This senior pass 
I can get to Agent Crawler in the bowling alley and try to reconnect that aspect of his mind. The bowling aspect. Look a little young for the senior league, hmm? I keep all my gray hidden under the helmet. Hmm. Ah, good tip. Watch it. This disinfectant spray is lethal. Hi, kid. Hi, kid. Ford. Jews aren't ready yet. Would you mind if I stepped inside your mind for a minute? Sure. Better than you stepping inside one of these shoes. I tell you, it's like Germ City in there. a giant thought bubble made of bricks keep the balls in the lanes please sorry stay i'm going to do my caveman face hmm? wait no 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 my eyes were closed the couple that came here on the date ford and lucy yeah they were just here a second ago cute couple any idea where they went they went bowling da -ha! that away Okay, now a nice one. Ford? Hmm, wow. Ford and Lucretia... dated? Let's roll! Here goes nothing! Whoa! Whoa! Thanks for the ride! Hey, now, no crossing the front! Man, this thing's big! Giant Ford head. I wonder if there's any brains in there. More than you got, Sonny. The end is coming! Oh, give it a rest, guy! Death is coming from above! Uh. Guy was right. All hail Guy the Prophet. If there's a piece of Ford's mind in here, to... out of my way! I gotta get to that giant Ford head before the city is sanitized! You, down by that ball polisher! A little help! Mom! That kid squished me! I needs to fix that rail crane, and you're gonna help me, okay? 
I think I hear something. Eh, uh, sorry. That's uh, not how these things work. Uh, Ooh, wait. this one's pretty. Even if I don't live to see it, there will be a tomorrow. Snap this baby in here and uh Yeah, that ball is too slick to ride now. know what you're up to, kid. You, the slime is so sticky. You know it. The kids just love it. Do I know the best places to take you all on vacation or what? Yeah! Yay! Yeah. Suitcase tag. Gotcha. Squish me, but you can't squish the truth. Aha! This looks like the way to the board. Yes, this is the way. Right back. <laughs> ah! Look out! Hey! Sorry. Ah! Excuse me. Please! Coming through! Hey, I know that what? guy! If I'm gonna get to Ford, I need to fix that broken rail on the Kingpin Express before someone arrests me. Uh, this stuff wasn't in the way. I could scratch my board, jerk. Whoa! Look at that guy! Go! He's a maniac. Cool! <laughs> I can do that. Never. It's the stuff! Now, let's lay some track. When the world gets destroyed, I want it to be perfect. Yes, we'll fix the Kingpin Express. Buddy, that ain't the Kingpin Express. That's the foul line. It'll take you across town, but you gotta transfer to the Kingpin. At this time of day, though, you're better off taking a cab. Thanks. So brave, why don't you do it? I'm going to. I'm just waiting for my hospital. 
Kingpin Express coming your way. What? Just keep out of my head, or you'll be sorry. Do that again and you'll be sorry. How does it feel? Hi. Spread the plague of truth. There is a tomorrow, like it or not. Shoes on the lane. Those things are filthy. You'll make marks. <laughs> hey, everybody! Elle is working again, so don't bother whooping it upstairs on your own, whatever you do. Hey, I just stop. Oh, come on, Elle. We talked about this. Listen, you are not a one-floor lift. Do you hear me? You're an all-floors lift. Good time's over, germs. What's your point? We're never going to get this building finished before the big spray. I'm going to duck you pay for that. Now goes all the way to the top. No need to climb up there on your own. In summary, all is well in the world again. Uh, except, of course, that it's ending.
gotta get out of here. Those germs aren't lying about- I think this Ford Lucretia romance was more serious than I realized. Hey, it's Ford and Lucy! Lucretia, but I called her Lucy. And even from that first date in that grimy bowling alley, I knew. Knew that it was too good to last forever? Hey, all relationships end one way or another. Well, I just didn't think it would end so badly. Hey, cheer up. Even gutter balls return. Eventually. Hmm. <sighs> Only one more piece of Ford's mind to reconnect. I'm making progress. But what if Maligula shows up here? And Ford's not ready. I need to hurry up. Nice to see you again, Rasputin. And you've managed to stay clothed. Very good. Wow. Look at all these gadgets. Gadgets? Sorry. Machines. Psycho-reactive technology? Rasputin, I thought you would recognize these for what they are. These are dreams. Where do you think machines come from? They spring forth from the human imagination. They are human thought made real. I invented that one when I was angry. When I designed that one, I was sad. That one, uh, I was just hungry. Incredible! Glad you like them. You know, I'm not supposed to check out equipment to interns, but Agent Nine seems to put a lot of faith in you, my boy. So, if you'd like to try one out, just let me know. Oh, man. Agent Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin? Any cool devices to lend out? Shh! Interns aren't allowed to check out my devices. But if you were to take your time, say, delivering one of these to Sasha or Mia, well, that would be none of my business. This one is a thought tuner. Use it to find stray thoughts floating around the world. 
And this psi enhanced camera is for creating photographic memories. I'd train you how to use them, but uh, that would only increase my lethal liability. Have fun! And thanks for delivering those items to Sasha and Mia. So is Maligula as bad as people say? Oh, I don't like to think about that name. If my device had just worked better that day, so many things would be different now. What's your theory on the mole? Oh, uh, I really haven't thought too much about it. Maybe I should make a lie detector. How do these machines make contact with your mind? The secret is the Cytanium. It's a psychoreactive quartz-like mineral that responds to and amplifies psychic energy. It vibrates with the psychic waves, driving the machines. What device did you build to fight Maligula? The Hyperhigh Glaciator. It amplified our hydrokinetic powers and allowed us to freeze water semi-permanently. But Maligula threw our friend Helmet in the water just before the device went off. He was frozen so deeply in my hyper ice, we were never able to recover his body. Only Ford saw it happen, and he's unable to tell us where to look for it. Well, I ought to let you get back to work. <laughs> very, very uh, humorous. Brains. All voluntarily donated upon death. I have all the paperwork. Uh, somewhere. These people are all dead? Uh, their bodies are. And their brains are no longer capable of thought. But I've preserved them here, in the brain frame. What for? Experiments. Ew. Really? No room for the squeamish in psychic science, Sonny. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. Only begun to explore its mysteries. That is, after all, the true mission of the psychonauts. Someday, my brain will live here, and yours too. What? Should have read that NDA more carefully. This one looks not bad. Not bad. Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. I hope you don't mind poppins. Maybe I'm too late. Doesn't seem to be any life left here. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? My name is Raz. Who are you? How long have you been in here? What's your name? Sorry. Oh, you. Sorry, I just haven't talked in such a long time. Oh my gosh, is that my voice? Is that what I sound like? What do you sound like? Oh my gosh, who are you? Are you not me? My name is Raz. Words. Words. You're saying words to me? <laughs> what was that non-word sound I just made? Am I dying? No, not dying. I feel alive. Very alive. Who are you? Who am I? Am I anything? Am I everything? Am I God? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God, or the universe, or the ultimate cosmic oneness, or something in that jam. Am I right? Well, basically, right now, you're kind of a brain in a jar. Huh? 
But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember... much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? I'll be right back. What? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything! I promise to be quick. While I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe. Or when I destroyed it. If I put this brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them both out. As well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. Have rain, we'll travel. Back to the mail room to put it in Nick's head. Oh. Brand new mental connection pins available. Ayanara Psychic. Since there are some stray thoughts nearby. I can check it out when I thought to. Granted. Huh. Nick! TV? Nick, how would you feel about an upgrade to your sense of self protection? Ooh. Can you hear me? Ball of light. Are you in there? Light. Dark. And every flavor in between. But all these colors are just one band in this sensual rainbow of rainbows. What is this room? And how can I taste it all at once? And who composed this symphony? Uh, Nick? One symphony is beautiful, but a hundred all at once? Oh, God. I can smell the Big Bang. There's an ant in the wall that's grinding its teeth. Everythingness. Oneness. Nothingness. Nothingness. Nothingness! Is this cashmere? It's too delicious! I should really go back in there, but I'm just a little scared. Hey, Nick. I've got something here that will help. Is it a blindfold? Earplugs? Better. Ooh, I don't know if you want to come in. Whoa, 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 what the? Ball of light? Are you in here? I'm here. Everything's here. Too many things are here! You're experiencing a sensory overload. Try to stay calm. Whatever you do, don't have a... Stay calm, man. Stay calm. My heart is racing. I have a heart. How do we get out of here? Oh, no. I can't breathe. I don't like it here. My fighter flight response is triggering. I say flight. Flight! I feel like I'm about to go on stage. I just... You're handling this so much better than I would be. Oh no. I can't breathe. My fighter flight response is triggering. I say flight. Flight! I don't want to beat it. It's just too fast. Dear universe, please shut up! There we are. This is good.
Let's stay here. Where are we? Shh. It's a quiet place. Huh? Look. No more looking. No more hearing. No more tasting, smelling, feeling. Uh, come in? Hey, I know you. You're... Vision. Yeah, and you're needed on stage. Come on, Psy King. My dark place! Psy King? Vision sounds a lot like my friend Ford. Were you in a band with Ford Queller? Ha, <laughs> good old Vision. He always had such a good eye for, you know, visuals. I see. Well, maybe when your full memory returns. I just wish we knew what to do with them. Suitcase tag. That's what I need here. <laughs> yep. The feast, man. Oh, they look mad. the situation. Nick's body is sending you all sorts of sensory input. Smells, tastes, visual sounds, tactile feedback. You've just got to deal with it. We know how to deal with a crowd, man. Speak for yourself. I don't remember a thing. You know what this crowd wants? Yeah, they came for a feast of the senses. 
so give it to them. Oh, wow, man, it's been so long, I, I, I don't even know where my violin is. What happened to the feast? Well, the audience just disappeared one day, and the band drifted apart. Uh, I'd do anything to get the band back together again. I'll find your violin. Just tell me where you last used it. Can I even remember what it looked like? If only you could see the world the way I see it. Huh. I thought the inside of an eyeball would be... goopier? Huh. This kind of reminds me of our old stage setup. Coincidence. Check one. Check one. Check one. Or is this two? What's that, a new friend? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, that's right. It's that kind of world. Ready. Can we get a check one? Check Are you copper bottoming them, my man? No, I'm aluminiuming them, my man. Yep. Man, those things are too fast. Check this out. Whoa! When you're alone as long as I was, time loses some of its meaning and your perception of it becomes your reality. Want to give it a try? on the target and I've got eyes on me hi I see the violin did you see it sorry if you already saw it I just think we should be checking in with each other you know
if you're not careful. Oh, those look dangerous. Let's go somewhere else. There's some emotional baggage nearby. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Once we get these light ticklers hooked up, the stage show is gonna be incredible. Hey, 
more of those killing friends. I'm fine. But don't do that. I go flying like a racket ball. said this, but eyeballs are kind of gross. If you look at them closely, I already feel horrible for saying that. Is this the end? 
Or have we bent around back to the beginning? It's a violin! That's what we want it! Well, what are you waiting for? Better, but to handle a crowd that size, we need the whole band, man. We need Tasty, Sniffles, Dr. Touch, and Audie. Yeah, Audio. You're remembering, man. <laughs> Where are they all now? Oh, they wandered off when the audience left. Could be anywhere. This festival covers so many acres. Hey! <gasps> Didn't we used to have a cool band van? Mobile. I'll bet they're still at the festival somewhere. Woohoo! So what's driving? They might have wandered into the campgrounds, it's true. Ooh, our promoter's not gonna like that. You better drive? Yeah. Let's look here. Well, this is the campground. Dr. Touch and Artie used to like to come here. They like to get high out here. So, you're saying they're up there? Yep. The view up there is amazing. You know, Vision sounds a lot like my friend Ford. Were you in a band with Ford Crawler? Ha. <laughs> good old Vision. He always had such a good eye for... You know, visuals. I see. Well, maybe when your full memory returns. <laughs> I miss the quiet. I've heard about music festivals like this. This one is surprisingly clean. I think I hear something. This hat box needs a hat box tag. <laughs> Still, where are all the bathrooms? Tag. Got 
gotcha. We always do. No, we don't. See? Here you go. Me? You started this. Uh oh, Chew. Didn't you guys see the huge crowd down there? People are screaming for the Feast of the Senses. That's what I've been telling this one. But the problem with him is that he just won't listen. Without Psyking, there is no feast. There's nothing. But Psyking is back. What? He's down by the van with Vision. But we're not ready. We haven't practiced. Dr. Touch, where are our instruments? I, I thought you had them. Let me take a look. I bet I can find them. Sounds good to me. Let me give you a hand. Coming up. Hey, I love what they've done with the place. Okay, let's get those instruments and get out of here. If I know Wadi, this is gonna sound awesome. Oh, and Dr. Touch is good too. Uh, yeah. Oh, very clever slowing that down. I was about to suggest it. Okay. 
response is triggering. I say might. Might! Maybe you could slow this thing down. Oh no, I can't breathe. My heart is racing. I have a heart. I don't like it here. Stay calm. Stay calm. How do we get out of here? I feel like I'm about to go on stage. Oh no, I can't breathe. My fight or flight response is triggering. I say fight. Fight! I don't like it here. Try putting them in a time bubble. Response is triggering. I say might. Might! Stay calm, man. Stay calm. Hey, remember that thing I taught you about slowing down? Oh, huh. All right. I'm feeling better. I'm ready to help. Hey, where'd he go? you cats again. Just so, so great. You look good, Psy King. Let's face facts, guys. It's not going to work unless we get the whole band back together. Well, we need Sniffles and Tasty. Excited about getting the band back together, Bishop? I will be oh, as soon son. as we get Tasty and Sniffles I back. Let's go somewhere. Why didn't you come Everybody look for me? Back in no, the van. Sorry, I would never say that. Can't beat that old van. Marty, shit. it's so great to see you. Where, Where are we going? going? Whoops. This van's barely holding together as it is. We're not here to run people over, all right? Oh, let's try the. These are the concession stands. If they got hungry, they'll be here. Good idea. Let's look here. Of course. Tasty and Sniffles hung around here a lot. Oh, so many scents and flavors. And lines, man. So many long lines. I'll go find Tasty and Sniffles. <laughs> I miss the quiet. Yes, got the duffel bag tag. I 
think if I fell into that hungry crowd, they would eat me. Excuse me? Hang on, kid. We're trying to decide what to order. You can eat after the show. Vision and Psy King are waiting by the van. What? Psy King is back? Let's get our instruments. We've been in this line for so long, I'm not even sure where they are. If you guys let me take a look, I'll bet I can find them. Oh, Tasty, I can't decide. Well... Maybe I can find their instruments before they make up their minds. To admit, I'm a little afraid of this. Why, because of all the tongues and boogers? <laughs> That's all just part of being in a band, man. My instincts are telling me you're weird. Certainly took a long time. Come on, our fans are waiting. Mm, it smells like the way across. Oh. Is both something you give and something you take. Certainly an adequate supply of tongues in here. Say what you will about the tongue, but it's a very sensitive and capable looking. Flavors there are. I swear I can taste this thing. Teamwork. Hey, I can taste you. Wanna know what you taste like? Not really. You taste like shoes. But no one. The secrets of the universe always on the tip of your tongue. What's that smell? Oh, God, it's my own sweat. Hey, hey, don't. I can smell my own sweat. You're not supposed to be able to do that, are you? Oh, God. 
Now I can taste it. Ah. about. hate you so much. I can't seem to correct you that Guess I need more practice. <laughs> Whoa! I did not see that coming.
instincts are telling me not to hold this thing too long. Oh, I gotta say, Sacking, you're almost looking like your old self again. I'm sorry I abandoned the band, you guys. Hey, it's gonna make for a better rockumentary someday. Time for the feast. Feast! Just a thought is all I've got Now my cover's low At the bottom of a lake Of frozen feeling When my friends pulled me back up I started Cosmic eye Senses are the magic keys They fill the holes I've had Unlocking all my memories I never, never yeah. Wanna bet, Helmut? Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. no, not, not again. again. I know her! From Lobato's nightmare. I know her from my nightmares. <laughs> Don't worry. 
All your friends are here. Friends? Oh, do you mean these friends? The ones who abandoned him in the ice for 20 years. Don't listen to her. Dear universe, please, shut up! There we go. That's better. Problem solved. Ball of light? You're a helmet fool bear! Everyone thinks you died in the deluge of Grulovia. What happened? <sighs> I can't remember much of anything. Well, if you don't mind, I can try to help with that. Destroy them. You were going to act her to death? I did a monologue about Lucy's life and what she meant to us. To try and bring her back. I was useless that day. I think you were useless that day. I tried to stop her with a motivational speech. Actually, Full Bear, you distracted her long enough that I was able to recruit some local animals to help. Which also didn't work. We all brought what we had to the battle. The main thing was, your beautiful performance did bring out the old Lucy. Just for a bit. It reminded us that she was in there. So, Maligula used to be... your friend? And her name was... Lucy? <sighs> was she the seventh member of the Psychic Six? Look, I'm learning a lot. Yeah, me too. I'm right here! Where are you going? Why did you all abandon me for a thousand years? Twenty. Maybe in your world? Did they even look for me? Did they all forget I existed? We did look for you, fool bear. But my stupid hyper high glaciator there, which we brought to freeze Maligula, well, it. Uh... It worked as designed, Otto. But you were so deep in that frozen lake, we couldn't find you. No matter how much we dug. I know you're just speculating here, Helmet. I think you're probably right. But I sent you my brain, Ford. Didn't you find it? I... I don't know. Ford must have brought your brain back because I found it in Otto's lab. But he must have lost that memory when his mind was shattered in the battle. My brain was shattered? Well, come on. It was a little crack to begin with. My body's been in hyper ice all this time. I'll bet I look amazing. Almost done. I'm starting to enjoy it now. This is where that monster drowned my Bobby. Because I failed. Because my stupid plan couldn't save him. No, you saved me. You threw yourself into the path of danger, sacrificing yourself to save me. Rather dramatically, I might add. Well, I mean, thank you. So, I'm not dead. I'm out there somewhere waiting for you to come back to me. I'm coming to you, right now. I swear. Better hurry. You know how I get. 
Memories, my boy. Just a show we put on inside our heads. Sometimes the first draft of the script stinks. Thanks for helping me with the rewrites. Now let's go give the people what they want. <laughs> Everybody stand back. Remember, this is our friend, Lucy. She's going through a tough time. I think she might just need someone to listen to her. Save your sympathy for your shrubbery, Zanato. body yet for bear but not to worry I've got your brain and I'm gonna keep it safe back at HQ and come back for the rest of you just after I figure out what to do with Lucy okay I know you won't forget about me I don't think anybody's gonna forget about you after that performance in fact I think they're demanding an encore Senior staff only. I'm... Who am I again? Nick John Smith. Nick John Smith, senior mailroom staff. Welcome, Helmet Fulbear, deceased. About time they sent me an assistant. Ford's gonna be so excited when he figures out who you really are, Agent Fulbear. Everybody is. Kid, I owed you one, and now we're square. But I'm not ready to face Cruller. Not until I talk to Bob. But Lots of baggage to unpack. You wouldn't understand. But please, tell no one of my return. But... I'll see you at curtain call! Don't... Oh, somebody shut that door before the wind blows all my letters away! Excuse me, Agent Cruller? Clerk Cruller, yes? Would you mind if I uh, went inside your mind and sorted a few things out? Eh, I'm never opposed to anything getting properly sorted. Dear Ford, we brought peace to Grulovia, but there is still unrest among the people. A little ungrateful, I think. Home soon, Lucretia. Their 
there's a piece of Ford's mind in here for me to reconnect, it'll probably be up in that giant clunky head. Hey, I came out of that clunky head. Really? Can you help me get in there? Uh, maybe, to tell you the truth. I'm not addressed very well, so... I'm sure I'll be marked Return to Sender and sent back there soon. Just grab on. Did someone say Return to Sender? <laughs> This letter's got no return address. I'm afraid that means the dead letter office for you. But wait, I'm a heartfelt love letter. Don't care who you courted, the feelings must get sorted. Too many letters, they just keep coming. What's the point? Nobody ever writes what they really mean. I wrote a letter once. Did I think I could stop a war? Ah, doesn't matter. I never sent it. Maybe it would have saved a thousand lives. Maybe just one. I wonder what would have happened if I'd sent that letter. I wonder if it's too late. out of here? Will you still take me up to the head? Yes, but quick, before he... Whoa! Ah! Oh, my mistake. This doesn't belong in the dead letter office. <laughs> Look at that address. It belongs in the international dead letter office. What? No, wait! Uh-oh.
use the hat box. There we go. Gentle rain's not enough to secure my reign. Stop being coy with the hoy toloy. Now where did I put that letter? I must have put it somewhere around here.
I think I hear something. People have no need for me. They call me. Who sounds serious? Take it as it comes. I like it so much. I can't remember me. Just hold still. I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh no. <sighs> Some that is are such a pain in the neck, they really belong in the furnace. Wait. I think I know how to address this one. Really? Well, it's worth a shot. But don't take all day. The mail must sail into tomorrow, no time to borrow. Boy, I hope you know what you're doing. Is that the missing typewriter key? That's better. Now where are the rest? She's gone mad! She's flooded the capital! She'll destroy this country! Get out while you can. I don't think I have all the keys I need to properly address the assembly. <sighs> hey, I think that's a key to the typeway. Yeah. Still too missing. The key I need over there. Keyboard is almost complete. Just one key missing. But where is it? I think I know who Ford would like to address this letter to. Send that off and see what we get. You see, the mail just doesn't matter. This is a private mailbox. You aren't allowed in here. You've been missorted. You touch that, and it's a federal crime. <gasps> oh. What did
did you say in that letter? Nothing important, really. Just that I loved her. She just wanted to help, but they, they pushed her too far. How should we have known? It's not like she was marked fragile. But I thought I knew her and everything she held inside herself. Ah, I had so much to learn. I guess some packages are better left unopened. Rasputin. Agent Crawler, how do you feel? I've done a terrible thing. And so have you. But we just wanted to undo what Maligula did to you. Maligula didn't do this to me. That's the first thing I've learned in here. The rest, you're gonna have to see for yourself. Ford, what is it? See for yourself. sure I want to see this. Oh no, I don't think you'll want to see this at all. with the Deep Six treatment. I did what I had to do. I loved her, after all. Wait, what? Someday when you fall in love, you'll understand. What's going on here? What did you want me to see? I couldn't let her go free. She was a danger to the world. Even though it was the world that made her dangerous. Lucretia? Where is she? Safe. She's safe. Well, she was. We all were. <laughs> Not anymore.
Ford. Whatever I'm supposed to know, just spit it out. I had to hide her from the world because they'd never forgive her. And I had to hide her from me because I'd never forget her. Where? Where did you hide her? She's with family. your grandparents, Laszlo and Morona. They drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster, remember? What? No! Grandpa Laszlo died there, but Grandma made it out and came to live with my father. No, Raz. She didn't. Ford, I just saw her today. No, you didn't. She was defeated, but alive. I snuck her away from the others. I put her in the astral plane, one of our inventions, created to make permanent alterations to the psyche. I used it to isolate. I need the purse tag here. But I knew the world would never forgive her, so I had to hide her some. Oh no. Hid her among her family, Rasputin. Among your family. No, no, no! I projected memories and feelings on your father so he would accept her. Accept Maligula? Yes. As your grandmother. No! Listen, Raz. I know you're mad. My great aunt killed my grandma. And so you made us babysitter for 20 years? Now look it. You spring this news on your family now, their memories will unravel, and there's no telling how they'll react. So? They might try to kill her. If Lucretia is attacked, if she feels the need to defend herself, that dark spirit could reawaken inside her. Maligula really could rise again. You're right to be mad, Rasputin. I was young. I made a terrible mistake. But we need to deal with that after we get control of this incredibly dangerous situation. She's not there. Probably wandered off into the woods again. She keeps doing that. I know where she's going. The Psychonaut started out here, in the heart of the forgetful forest. There's a compound deep in these woods, protected from intrusion by psychic devices, traps, and illusions. I think Lucy's trying to get in, trying to go home. Remember, mad later, mission first. Now stick close. I'll show you how to get through. Agent Kruller? I hope I didn't lose him in the woods. Wow, it's really all still here. 
the Green Needle Gulch. So much history here. I mean, this is where you assembled the team that would become the Psychonauts. This is where you first discovered Citanium. Where Otto made his first psychoactive devices. Where Cassiopeia wrote her books. Where Helmet Fulbear workshopped his psychodicy. Where Bob Zanotto and Compton Bull pioneered communication with plants and animals. And where... where... I mean... This is where it all began. No, Raz. This is where it all ended. where you are? What can you tell me about this place? I... Oh, I think... I think I used to keep the cinnamon over there. Oh, we don't have much time. Her old memories are coming back. What's going to happen? Listen, Raz. This compound? We got into some pretty far-out stuff here. I've read about... The kind of stuff they don't write about in true psychic tales, okay? We all pushed each other to go farther, to broaden our consciousness, to open every closed door in our minds. It made us defenseless, psychically. But we were in a safe place here. We had each other. Then her homeland was attacked. She insisted on helping. I begged her not to go in that condition. It's so vulnerable. Ah, war brought something out in her that... Should have been locked away. Maligula. After the deluge, I brought her back here and closed those doors again with Maligula on the other side. How? With the astrolathe. A powerful tool we developed to make alterations to our psyches. That doesn't sound safe. Now you wouldn't understand. It was an age of exploration. But you're right. We were messing with powers we didn't understand. And now I have to clean up this mess. But I'm not the psychonaut I used to be, Rasputin. I need your help. What do you need me to do? First, I need you to go to the Heptodome and prepare the astrolathe. Well, I stay here and keep a close watch on her. Be right back, Nona. Stay away from the river, booty! Aha! I knew I had some chewing tobacco hidden in here! Is that straight thoughts I'm picking up? This is where the first Psychonauts met. And this must be the Astral Lane. Well, I'll just turn this thing on then. Well, those are thick and thorny. I'm gonna need a little help here.
What's a psycho isolation chamber doing out here? I think I winged it. This is my part of the world. must be the first ever psycho-isolation chamber. Created as therapy, later used to punish kids in summer camps. Sonato? Bob? Hey, that just missed me. Well, his aim ain't what it used to be. You could give somebody a concussion. Yeah, well, it was your choice to come in here. Uninvited. It's dangerous in here. Lots of, uh, broken things. Your nephew, Truman, sent me on a mission to put Ford Crawler back together and Helmet Full Bear. Stop it! Right now! I don't want to hear any of those names ever again, you hear me? They're all lost. Dead. But, Bob. Especially that one! Uh, uh, Ow! You're lucky I'm wearing a helmet. Do you think Bob would mind if I took a look inside his mind?
Hello? Agent Sonato? Starting a signal fire, trying it. No one comes. Hello? Agent Zanato? Strange. I don't usually get visitors here. That sounds pretty lonely. I have my garden. Of course. The Zanatos are famous for their... gardens. Huh. What did you plant here? Plant? What kind of seeds did you use? Oh, seeds. Yeah, that's right. No seeds. Lost them all. Where'd they go? Out there, I suppose. Can't really remember. Well, let's go find them. I'm uh, not a good swimmer. Are you? No. Welcome to the island, then, I guess. Don't go. Come with me. It's okay. Look, I'll just do some quick seed recon, and then I'll come right back. I promise. Hold it right there. Why? I wouldn't want you to get hurt. How could that little thing hurt me? Oh, they always start out little, don't they? And then they grow and grow and cause so much pain. Here, let me just take this somewhere safe. Wait, no, I want that. No, you don't. Oi there! Uh, lend a hand? What do you need? Uh, just uh, caught in a bit of a bind here. If you could jiggle me loose, I could get some fresh air on my face. I'll work it out. Just hang in there. Was that a joke? Because uh, I didn't ask for any jokes. Ah, that's the stuff. Yeah, a little motion really gets the juices... <laughs> Flowing, if you know what I mean. Hang on! I'll break that final vine. No, 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 just leave it. I, I think this is all the freedom I can handle right now. Uh, 
Uh-oh. How'd you get yourself caught by that bird? Caught? I got this feathered fairy service right where I want him. 20 feet in the air? He's keeping me moving so I don't plant roots. It's a constant struggle. Oh, you don't want to be near this thing. I'm warning you in a friendly way. Almost like you want to get hurt by this thing. Hi, have you met my friend? They just love to fly and fly. <laughs> Wait a second, what am I doing up here? Yep. This guy needs a duffel bag One more time around the block, Jeeves. Hello down there. so roughly bearing me over the sea. You're my nugget now, okay? Yep. So sick. Do you spend so much time on them? I'm tempted to just let you get hurt. Yep. Don't get so close. I think I hear something. Thanks for the lift. Hmm. Looks like my plant friend is caught up in some regrets. What are you talking about? I have no regrets. And these must be somebody else's. About seeds. Nothing. <sighs> Oopsie, let 
Let me get this out of your way. I'm starting to think you don't trust my opinion about seeds. Up in the air, Junior Burt Man. Hey, I can see your house from here. Is it green? <laughs> This must be Bob's mother, Tia Zanotto. Uh, hey mom, are you heading out to the greenhouse again? What are you doing out in the greenhouse for so long? That's a little foreboding. Oh, yes. Only very bad things down there. Perfect place for this. Oh, come on. You'd better leave Bob's memories alone. You don't want to bring out one of his bad moods. What's so dangerous about a bad... Look, Mr. Mood, I'm sure we can work this out. For instance, let's examine the source of ice. Not working. What's causing it? I want to use clairvoyance on this bad mood, but it looks immune to it. There must be something causing this bad mood around here. Not such a bad mood now, are you?
do moths know, right? Look familiar? I don't know. Looks big. Let's plant it and see what happens. Nothing happened. <laughs> Guess it's a done. Agent Zanato, as an expert gardener, I'm sure you know the value of patience when it comes to... Well, hello. I'm off to find more seeds. Uh, well, don't you think this is enough? More's always better. I'll be right back. You and Bob aren't friends? Well, Helmet was the one we all liked, really. He was so outgoing and handsome. We were just nice to Bob because they were kind of a... plant scientist, but that looks pretty seedy to me. <laughs> hey, you okay over there? What, uh, me? Oh, I I'm great, thanks. Oh, okay. Thank you. I feel much better. Sorry about that. Cabbage burps are the worst. Ah, well, anyway, thank you.
I feel so much better. This is where I get off. Thanks for the lift. <clears throat> You're welcome. What? For saving you from that time bomb. It's just a seed. Ah, but isn't a seed just a bomb in slow motion? clairvoyance right now. Let's see if we can get to the heart of this bad mood. All right, all right, let me at him, let me at him! Where'd they go? Hey, where's the seed? What seed? Oh, that thing. Oh, I dropped it in a river far away. Right. Hey, it's not in there. Not in there, I said. Come on, killer. I'm taking you along for protection. Good idea! It's you and me, kid. Let's show them who they're messing with. Over this way? Oh, great. That, that's exactly what I would have done. I haven't been over here in a while. Put down some yellow cones here. I uh, don't suppose you have any golf shoes on you, huh? Something with uh, cleats? If you start slipping, remember to lean into the slip. Oh, wait, is that. Or maybe it's away from the slip. Careful. I think one of these tiles is loose. Did I hear a crack? Who wants your step? A little grout would do wonders for this. Being back in this place really brings up some. <clears throat> brings up some. <clears throat> memories. Oh, are you headed down to the boss's office? I do not envy you. Fire. You can't fire me! I helped create this place!
I'd hate to see Truman get that mad. Another one. This is going great, don't you think? I'm off to find more seats. Now, just hang on there. What? What's wrong? I wasn't doing anything. You weren't about to grab that seed. <laughs> grab that what? Oh my god, I didn't even see that. Let me grab that. No, wait! Thanks for the tip. One more time around the block, Jeeves. <laughs> This nugget is saying to me, take me away. You could come. I love a good wedding, don't you? Now then, to the champagne tower, my good man. Breath from above. <laughs> Oh! 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 Oh!
don't get so close. Wait, no, I want that. Wait a minute. I don't know about this place. causing this bad mood. Wow, remind me not to invite you to my wedding. Given Bob two of those seeds. They're harmless. You what? You have no idea the harm you've done, do you? Time to get serious. I'm running out of places to hide this thing. Ooh, this is good. Nobody actually eats wedding cake, right? Well, I like wedding cake. Down here, kid. Get me out of here. I don't want to miss the ceremony. Appreciate you offering to carry me down the aisle. My uh, regular carrier broke away when we crashed into the champagne tower. I'm fine though. Didn't feel a thing. Takes a lot to crack this old noggin. Uh, you know what? I don't think I'm. Ah, uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm feeling a little off, and I don't want to ruin the ceremony. <laughs> See what I mean?
Sonata. Take this man, Helmet Fulbear. The happiest day of my life. I used to think I loved plants more than people, until I met this man. When these feelings appeared in my heart, I thought they were weeds, and I tried to pull them out. But this mighty oak has given me shade, shelter, and something to lean on when I need it. Good to see you again, Helmet. I'll make sure this gets back to Bob. so nervous I'm just I'm starting to remember why I got rid of those seeds I warned you and I warned you but did you listen no don't worry, I'm here to protect you. Again. Hey, what are you doing to him? Leave him alone! I'm protecting him. Protecting him? From what? You're about to find out. Hold 
on, Agent Zanotto. I'll get you out of there. I knew those seeds were bad news. Oh, now you've gone and put him into a bad mood again. Is supposed to hurt this much. It doesn't need to hurt at all. Doesn't need to hurt you, I mean.
So bad at gardening yourself. Think you can handle them now? I'm willing to give it a try. How about those? Well, I'll just take them one at a time. Yep, all the bottles in the blue bin. Bottle caps, too. Hey, that too. We're recycling plastic now. Can you believe it? So, uh, Agent Sonato, think you could help me with a little... yard work? Wow, what a mess. Yeah. I mean, it's impressive as far as strength and mass, but in terms of aesthetics, it's all over the place. Are you talking about the vines or that beard? Who's this? Helmet! So this is where you ran off to. Figures. What? It's me, Bobby. It's your psyching. But... how? Where's your body? I was lost for a long time. Until this one found me. Body's on loan from the mailroom. Hang on. Borrowed lips. Wouldn't be right. Yeah. And he's not as cute as you either. Neither are you right now. Come on, let's at least wash that beard. What's that smell? Mushrooms? You know I hate mushrooms. I know. Now I just need some help with those killer bees. The vines are gone. There's no way I'm going near those bees. Check out these new time bubble bits. Sweet, sticky babies. 
Look at that. Hmm. There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. Is that the real fuel mobile? Wow! Sinking in this icy This must be Helmet's theater. My life flashing before my eyes. Oh, great. Bees love me. What's wrong, bees? Smoke get in your eyes? Yeah, bees. Smoke this. <laughs> Victory over bees. Oh. What's wrong, you big bees? Can't take the heat. You're just something someone put into my mind. Which means there's probably a very powerful psychic nearby. Another hallucination. A very solid hallucination. Oh man, are you gonna cast a spell or something? Who are you? How did you get in here? And where was our security, eh? Cassiopeia? Author of Mind Swarm? Ford Cruller brought me through security. Ford? Ford Cruller? Came back? Oh, I knew it! I knew he would. But I'm not ready. I've been trying to fix this place up for him, but don't you know these bees are so demanding? Ford wants me to turn on the astrolabe, but it's covered in, well, Know anything about that? Oh, I think I can help you with that. I'm just happy to be useful again. Get out of my way. Ford needs me. Oh, I can tend to the queen later. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. She says I can't talk to you anymore. Wait! Cassie! Who's she? snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. Hello? Cassie? Bees? Cassie? I... It's okay, I know why you're here. Now, to whom shall I dedicate this inscription? Not that many people find their way in here these days. You must have a good head on your shoulders. Uh, definitely a big one. Now, just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain! Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission, but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible. If you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book. Now then, let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. There's that pesky little volume. 
Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> <sighs> oh, I'll admit the author was helpful once, when we needed the money to leave the country, but that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends? Ah, worthless. Is there another Cassie book in there that could help me? They are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you. If you were to help me. There are two other books missing from my collection. Dangerous books. These are the books that got us into this horrible situation. These are the wrong books, you understand? Round them up for me. Take them out of circulation. They are overdue. Understand? Then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny. You're not a child. No. Well, this shouldn't take too long. Sensors know when something's wrong. Kill the dogs that don't belong. Seriously? with their stupid but well-crafted lines. Can't do nothing to you and your cat. Having fun? Getting pretty sore, actually. This thing doesn't even have a sign. Hi, I'm Rats. And I am the Lady of the Lake. Helper of knights or nobles. Ooh, I'm on a noble. Sorry, already gave my sword to a handsome knight fighting a dragon. Stop, you'll make me dumber. Hey, have you seen any runaway books? Uh, sorry, smart ain't my thing. For. Bookworms. They hate my family. Saying error two two three six one one four psychic interference. Guess I can't use it here.
Jesse, you gotta watch out. There's a giant, uh, you out there hunting for you. Don't worry, young man. The librarian can't get in here. That's why she sends in her operatives. Who, me? I'm not an operative. I'm just playing along with her until I find the real Cassie. The real Cassie? Tell me, child, what is your name? Rasputin. And tell me, who is the real Rasputin? The one you are with your friends? With your family? Or the one you save for your special someone? Hmm? Is that the real you? Or are you actually a combination of all those different identities? Important challenges in our lives can cause us to create entirely new identities for ourselves, sometimes summoning powerful archetypes from our unconscious mind. The hero, the explorer, the shadow. My special talent allows me to summon up whatever archetype I need to survive my current situation. Would you like me to teach you how? Focus your mind's eye on... ...the vision of the archetype you need most right now. Well, very good. Woohoo! You'll get better with practice. Your archetype will act on its own sometimes, but you can also focus it on a specific task. Hey! Not now! I'm working! I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. I think if I use projection on this door, my archetype would go in there. I think if I use projection oh, on this door, go. my so archetype cute. would go in there. That's the spirit! What a good boy. See where this little fellow takes you. I'll meet you at the end. And then, I'll tell you I my know plan you. for the uh, library. Yes, yes. Wow, conceited. Please excuse me. I don't want to uh. thank you. How's it going? Feeling a bit flat. <laughs> hey, what's that, easy squeezy? Excuse me! I got this! Huh? Sure, sure! You just take it easy, big guy. <laughs> Ouch! Back in the gym. Excuse me. Yes? You look like you could teach me a lot about anatomy. You bet! How's this for starters? There's one of me inside of you. Gross. Hey, that's insensitive. Are you in pain? To be free of the flesh is to be free of pain, my child. How did you lose your skin? I donated my body to medical science. I had no idea this is what they had in mind. Why aren't you like dripping blood and stuff. It happens from time to time, but I just go over to the horror books and drip on them. They like it. Yikes. Are you mad about it? Skin's actually a lot more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. I'm free of rashes, itching, pimples. Aren't you cold? Cold is a feeling of the flesh, my friend. No skin, no cold. Bye, muscle man. Bye, baggy old clothes boy. Strike me down. Hey, maybe you should try. Read books? What is that? Sounds like a good way to starve to death.
protected by that enabler. I appreciate the positivity, but this enabler is not doing anybody any favor. They killed my archetype. And it hurt. to do any damage. Ah, they killed my archetype. Just when I was out of the lake. No. Ugh. Ugh. No good! They're under that enabler's protection. Nope. That enabler is making it impossible to do any damage. No. I can't do anything until I get rid of that enable. That's not positive. Periodically. I think I hear something. Uh, yep. Uh, I lost the last piece. First tag.
fishing party. Mm. No effect. You're protected by that in To work together so well really inspired me and it gave me an idea we need to get all of cassie's archetypes together round up all the runaway books and give them to the librarian but she'll lock you all up oh don't worry we won't be in them we'll be with you now go find the others hurry The teacher's edition. We all learned so much from this one, but we can't have her making up new identities and confusing things right when I'm getting everything sorted, can we? No, we can't. Confusion now hath made a masterpiece. Was that easy, squeezy? Hey, are you... Forsooth, etc. Oh, wow. No, i just like to give the fans what they want. Huzzah. I'm Raz. What's your name? Say my name, and I shall release the child. Shorty? I shall turn you into a frog for that. It doesn't matter anyway. I thought the baby was creepy. So I sold it to the Pretzelmeister. Yep. Jinxed it.
she works in here. But be careful. This is the shop of Fanny Flats, the famous counterfeiter. Cassie works for a counterfeiter? I work for myself, but I do what I need to survive. After our parents dumped us here, we needed an archetype that was a little more thick-skinned. Cassie, we've come to bust you out. Did someone say bust? What was that? Huh? Shh! Never say bust in here too loudly. But it's true. We have a plan. Oh, hey, Teach. Listen, now's not a really good time. Flats has a big deal coming up, and she's really on edge. And I'm working on my ticket out of here. Can we help? Listen, don't tell anyone, but the cops are closing in on this place. The boss's days are numbered. I cut an immunity deal for myself. I just need to get them some evidence they can use against the big gal. But she's watching everybody like a hawk these days, and I can't get away. We'll do it. I'll get the evidence you need, and we'll b we'll briskly walk out of here together. Okay? Deal. But remember, never double-cross a double-crosser. Okay, I need three pieces of evidence. Better split up. Wait, who am I talking to? Oh, yep. done more, but we got full.
think I need to figure out what's causing it. Okay, now it's a fair fight. Yep. Let's see if we can get to the heart of this bad mood. Like those guys just went out of prison. Wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, collecting evidence. I've got to stop saying that so loudly. Yeah. Oh. Hey, handsome. I'm going to stand over here right now, under the door like a pesky too. Yes, got the duffel bag tag. I think that's the best evidence I'll find in this part of town. I should check out the other neighborhoods for more. done more, but we got full. What's that sound? Yep. This hat box needs a hat box tag.
No good! They're under that enabler's protection. Sorry, but I just can't handle your energy right now. They say nice things and have me hurt, but enablers just make things worse. This fish market is clean. For a fish market, I mean. But just dirty enough to have some juicy evidence, I'll bet. Come get your car. Fish that's past its prime. Only problem. Or you'll get gout. Meat chains. Fermented fish. Max a bunch. Meat fish for a healthy brain. Say <laughs> old cutfish is even better for you. Also on cop accessories, cop sweaters, cop leashes. Fish! And by fishy, I mean it's freshness. It's... Looks like evidence of something. One more piece of evidence to find. Dirt on Fanny Flats. So glad you're my dog, Zipper. Mm -hmm. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> Looks fishy. Better take it as evidence. I got all the evidence I need. Better bring it back. I'll take this. all the evidence we could get. Think it's enough? Let me be the judge of that. Oh, yeah. This is some hot dirt right here. We'll be able to blackmail her with this for years. Blackmail? 
I thought you were going to arrest her. What? How's she gonna make the money she needs to pay us from jail? But if she's not locked up and she finds out I was the one who sent her up the river... Hey, don't worry. We'll, uh, protect you or something. Let's beat it. This was a bust. What? Bust? Bust! It's a bust! Ah! Ah! Ew. Not a chapter of which I am particularly proud. Hey, she was forced into the outlaw life. Not that part. I just meant... Nobody likes a snitch. There you are, all safe and sound again. Thank you, young man. You were a little loud for my liking, but you got the job done. And now you'll help me with those bees? Oh, are you scared of bees? Well, I know of one place where you'll feel completely safe. Hey! Put me down! Of all the double-crossing... This was all part of the plan. It was? Yep. And I thought I was the tricky one. Oh my, we've come to a bad place. No, it's perfect. How is it perfect? Any place is perfect. When we're all together. Well, I haven't seen you in a while. We should never have let her split us up. When we're together, nothing is impossible. Well, that tears it. I hate to damage a book, of course. But that last line was too corny, even for a motivational speaker. We're not going to let you control us anymore. Oh, and which one of you thinks you should be in charge? None of you could stop Maligula. None of you could protect your friends. I am the real Cassiopeia. I'll show you how we fight off a foreign invader. Get ready for the shushing of your life! What are you doing in here? We writers are most effective when we get inside someone's head. Ah! 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 What we need here is a little positivity. Them because you were jealous! Now I don't know how 
how to put this any more plainly, but... so I can teach her a lesson. Don't be tardy with that gate button. fall asleep in class, they get sent to the principal's office. Oh no, not you! That's right, now it's two on one. Hey, don't forget to count me. Help me out here, will you? Learn some growing things? In a library? Stupid enabler! With their stupid, well-crafted minds. Once you read my book, there is nothing you can't accomplish. That was uncalled for, and you shall pay for it. Not right. For that, you could say something stinks. You! Oh no. I can't handle all three of you at once. That's kind of the point. Ready, gals? I'm ready. Together now! I can't believe I failed. Again! I guess, I guess I'm not the real Cassie. Yes, you are. And so am I. Me too. Mostly when we need money. Hey, I'm pretty good in a fight. You might have noticed.
Hi. Uh, are you the real Cassie? Hmm, not sure. But I'm sure she's in here somewhere. Now then, did you say something about my bees? Oh my, they really aren't behaving, are they? That's it. I'm all out of bee puns, I promise. Think you can do something about them? I'll try, but I feel like I've lost a little control of them. Oh, how I wish my old partner were here. I think they just need a nap. Oh, bully! How did you know I needed you? A little bird told me. Oh, sorry, I should say three little bees. Well then, think we can get this swarm to stand down? I do. Bedtime for bees. So, how's production? Eh, jars of honey and no one to give it to. Come on! Okay, I have a feeling I'm about to get into some heavy business. Am I sure I'm ready for this? I'm ready for whatever might happen. Took you long enough. It still works. Of course it still works. Otto over-engineers everything. Crawler, I, I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. Otto, you're looking well-fed. Ford, you sound like your old self. Well, some things are clear to me now that weren't before. But come on, there's a lot to be done. Is it really you? Cassie! Compton! And Bob. I'm... I'm... I'm happy to see all of you again. What's Nick from the mailroom doing here? That's actually Helmet Fulbear's brain in Nick's body. <gasps> I do love making a grand entrance. Sounds like Full Bear. He's in there, all right. But where have you been? Uh, you don't want to know that. I've missed you so much, Big Bear. I never thought I'd see everybody together again. Well, almost everybody. Hey, I remember this place. We used to sneak in here and fool around on the bean bags, remember? Lucy. Everybody ready?
Now, this hunk of junk was made by Otto Mentalis. So, uh, there's no telling what might happen. Oh, uh, what can I say? I was underfunded back then. But if everything goes well, we might be able to have our dear friend Lucretia back in the circle. For good. Now, you ready? Kind of. <laughs> Me too, kid. It's a mental construct I made for Lucy, to convince her that she was your grandmother and that she lived with you. Come on, it's time to get her out of here. Ew! What did you step in? I don't know, it looks like a puddle of goo. With a mask of me in it. Did anyone see my brother? He was just standing here a second ago. Ah, uh, here he is. Oh, well, come on, Raz. It's showtime. You better play along with this, Raz. We don't want to upset the construct until we have control of the situation. I'll work on Nona. on a narrow leap of platform just as easily. Get off the ground, cheater! <laughs> Can Donatella balance her duties as a mother with the demands of the circus? Join her at the Razorback Arena and witness this incredible balancing act in person. One will live, one will die. Hey, 
You're hey, welcome. Me. I hope you have to Only fun. one way to find out. <laughs> round and round the wheel goes. Will Frazy <laughs> kill her papa? No one knows. The only thing sadder than a child stabbing their parent is when it happens without an audience. Don't let this sacrifice be for nothing! <laughs> Step right up to the wheel of endangerment and behold the daring father-daughter team of Crazy and Augustus Aquattle. One will live, one will die. Maybe. Who knows? Only one way to find out. Come on, pal. Be a big girl and throw knives at daddy. I just... I just don't feel good about it after last time. Anyone can make a mistake, Frazy. Papa, your leg! Now pick up a knife and throw it. I won't. You must believe in yourself, Frazy. No! Cut off one of Dad's legs? I'm on the off! Oh, Dad, Keep Raz! Off. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Raz? Yeah. You've got this, Rasputin. That's the danger. You did it, my boy. You're my favorite son now. Wait, what was that? Wow, Flea Dad tells it like it is. Okay, my turn to throw knives at Dad. Not the most functional family. <laughs> but at least they're all alive. Okay, all the children are safe. <laughs> no? I will show you my little secret. Come with me to the high dive. circus didn't have a quilting area. I didn't make this. I created that two-bit flea circus to make Lucy forget who she was. But it looks like she escaped. Come on, Crowley. Stinky dam is over this way. Wow! Wow! Guess you learn a thing or two when you live with fleas. Here's the steam 
Super Trunk Tag. What's this? It's Lucy and your father. Oh, this must be one of the first real memories she formed after the astrolabe procedure. Your father was put into an orphanage after his parents were drowned. I locked Maligula away, deep in Lucy's mind to make Lucy herself again. But then I got your father out of that orphanage, buried some of his more uh, traumatic memories, and brought him to her. Why? Well, they were both all alone in the world. The only family the other had left. My sweet little Gussie. Let's keep moving. Wait, wait! This would be a sweet picture if I didn't know everybody was under some sort of astrolathe hypnosis. I never used the astrolathe on the rest of the family. These are real memories Lucy made for herself after I was gone from her life. Good family, excellent balance, very flexible. Not afraid of heights. Not like you, hey Crowley. Lucy, please! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
were the one who gave me the pamphlet to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp? You're the reason I became a psychonaut? Well, it is either you or Freezy, but you were such a nerd with those comic books. Hey, True Psychic Tales is a graphic nonfiction periodical. Some part of you knew you were living a lie. You sensed Raz's power. You thought he could help you. Oh, I don't know, Crowley. I get so confused sometimes. Usually I was happy, just so intense and stretching the children, telling them to stay away from the water. Then I feel oh, so sad. And just when I was about to figure it out, everything would start to unravel. I forgot how much I hate this place. This is it. This is where I locked up Maligula. Behind that dam. We need to unlock it and draw Maligula out into the open. Then we'll combine our powers and direct the astrolabe to blast open a pit into the deepest part of her mind. Why don't we just, you know, blast Maligula? Maligula is a part of Lucy's mind. A primitive part that may have helped her early ancestors survive. We all have our own Maligula, Rasputin. We just know how to keep it locked up down below. If you can secure the area while I keep Lucy calm, then we should be able to unlock this dam together. I need to stay here with Lucy. She will deal the lock. We'll blast you. Adjourn for the day.
as you finish off those minor neuroses, we can unlock that dam and get out of here. Minor neuroses? Ow! Why can't I use clairvoyance on it? Yep. If I can find the cause of this bad mood, maybe I can get rid of it. Open that locket, and we'll use the astrolabe to blast it. I think I hear some. What's that sound? This guy needs a duffel bag tag. This hat box needs a hat box tag. It's a locket. It's my sister, Marona. But... But, uh... Help me focus the astrolathe, Rasputin. Quickly! I think we made many mistakes. But now, we're gonna face them. I couldn't before. I was young, scared, and alone. But now, I'm only one of those things. Oh, he's grown. Let's hope the astrolathe can make a deep enough pit. Don't worry for it. I'll be right here beside you! <laughs> Got him, Himmel! Jackpot! Bullseye! I felt her. Maligula. I know the identity of them all. That's incredible, Sasha. Well, I had mechanical assistance, which you didn't need. <clears throat> Agents, we have a security breach in the Green Needle Gulch. She's here. Obviously in distress, so I pulled you out. Is that her? I told you he was up to something out here with his girlfriend, Maligula. That's not his girlfriend, you little snitch. I'm his girlfriend. My God. Oh, yeah, funny story. That's not really Nick from the mailroom. I know that, but why? Doesn't matter. I'll take it with me when I take her. Truman, why did you pull me out? Ford and I were about to face Molecula. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll get your chance. Lily! Raz! Listen, I've been following my dad for a while, and he's acting really weird. We need to get to the bottom of this. 
Ow! Let's get Sasha and Mia to help. But my dad might be gone by the time we get back. I need to see what's going on inside his mind. I need to go in. Into the grand head. You're right. We do. Wait. What? You're not going to make me do this alone, are you? Dad. What the heck? Right. Let, let's split up and compare notes in a bit. <laughs> Here are his outfits. That's pretty normal. In his mind? Have you ever seen my father? He never thought about Well, him. at least you know he thought about his family. Yeah, but what's with all the lines showing how we're all related? Maybe he was getting more forgetful? It's almost like he comes here to pry. I guess he's really proud of his diplomas. Then why doesn't he hang them up in his office? He's secretly proud? Uh... Oh. Why would he... Lily, take it from me. Hey, the statue! Careful, Raz. I don't really think of your dad as a... vain. He's not! I think there's something under here. Yeah, more plaster. Whoa, Lily. Your dad was a really big fan of Nick from the mailroom. Well, most people are. Except my dad. My dad once told me he thought Nick John Smith was an obsequious little Lick Spittle. Lick Spittle? That's how my dad talked. My real dad. Raz, this isn't my dad's mind. Lily! Ow. Oof. Hey, you kids, get off that carpet. VIPs only. If it's not your dad's mind, whose mind is it? His. Nick's brain is missing, but I mean, Nick? Make way, common folk. Make room for Zazarovich Crystal Malik, future Czar of Grolovia. Nick is the Zazarovich? I can't believe it. What's a Zazarovich? The missing heir to the throne of Grulovia. He lived in exile with his family after Maligna destroyed the capital. Why is his brain in your dad's body? And where is my father's real brain? Come on, let's make him talk. Come on, he's getting away. Coming through. Sorry. Who do you think you are? The Zazarovich? Official business! Get behind me, punk. Hi. Can we get on the ride, please? Did you two cut in line? We're VIPs. Oh, does that stand for vertically impaired preteens? It's for your own safety. Come back when you're older. Okay, we're older. Check us now. Oh, man. How long have I had this job? I gotta get out of here. Sorry. Grolovians only. What? You can't... It's okay, Raz. Go! But, Lily... Don't worry. I have a plan.
now. Hey! Follow that czar! control panel here. Why'd you stop? This door won't open. What happened to the ride operator? He, uh, had an accident. Hmm. Looks like there's an electrical problem up above the ride. Okay, I'll drain the water so you can get up there. If you can fix it, I should be able to get the ride going again from here. Check! This is not how I heard this story. Then again, 
I'm not sure who to trust anymore. Hey, Ford, think you can help me up into those rafters? Problem? Looks good, Raz. Get back on the ride and I'll start it up again. I need to upgrade my mental connection game before I can connect ideas like that. Aha! I think I finally found the right button! Here we go.
powers make it impossible to do any damage. I can't do anything until I get rid of that enabler. No. Sorry, but I just can't handle your energy right now. Council must not badger the gavel! Maintenance, uh, and uh, for the glory of Grilovia, or whatever. What's the holdup? Hang on, I gotta talk to a guy about a door. Uh, excuse me, but this door over here. Sorry, busy. Busy with what? Propaganda nearing. I'm creating a future chapter in this glorious, semi-interactive location-based epic. This treasure room tells the story of how once the Zazarovich finds Maligula and restores Grulovia to its former glory, the people will all share in unimaginable riches. But it's missing something. Not sure what. Like something to go in that big egg cup in the middle? Yeah, something there. Like maybe an egg? That's it! See, sometimes you just need a fresh set of eyes. Hey. You get me a big, beautiful, luxurious egg, and I'll use my pass to open that door for you. Deal! Hey, where do they keep the big eggs around here? Crystal told me the best eggs he ever found were out in the ocean. Whatever that means.
this is all gonna be deducted from my paycheck. Are you doing this on purpose? Careful now. Don't worry, that's a joke. Oh my, please be careful. Case tag. Gotcha. <laughs> I'll bet my little flat friend could get in there. here. <laughs> Lily, do you see any controls for a giant painted mural with props? I see something called Glovian Diasporama. It has buttons for scenery, props, and heroes. Can we alter the props? Yep. You Those trees are ruined. I was just thinking. I want to Okay, that's enough for now. Bye, Roz. Hey, I know where I am. This is the Lady Lucktopus. The Maliks must have lived at the casino for a while, suffering. Lily. There's a room here just like the one we found on the mission to the casino. The delusionist was Crystal. So that's why Nick had a Lucktopus key in his pocket. He was living there. Yeah, in exile. Ooh, that means he's the one who wrote the creepy note about me. He's here, Crystal. Really? Wait a second. Huh. Why the long face? My father died today. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be. He ruined my life. And if it weren't for him, I'd be the Tsar of Grulovia. <laughs> Believe it or not. Instead, I'm homeless. I don't know. This place looks pretty nice. Ha! Good one. Hey, kid. There's... something about you I like. Are you... By any chance of Grulovian blood? I am. I knew it. <laughs> Come, and let us toast to the fatherland. Hey, want some caviar? Depends. What exactly is caviar? It's just eggs. 
The most expensive eggs money can buy. Well, since you put it that way... You won't regret it. I mean, look at these eggs. Maybe I'll have just one. <laughs> I don't think one is gonna do the trick. We'll see. Right through here. Perfect! Now please leave before you break anything else. Insinuated into 
their organization, the Zazarovich quickly rose to power, replacing the very head of the spy ring. Lily, I found Crystal's memory of stealing your father's brain. Does he show what he did with it? No, it's just a weird puppet show now. Hey, wait. I'm in this one. He found their organization ridiculously easy to manipulate. Some of their most trusted agents were mere children, easily controlled by Puppet Master Malik. Super creepy. not safe at all.
think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. I need the steamer truck tag for this guy. be the moment where Lobato stole Agent Zanato's brain. Creepy. So Crystal Malik was the one who hired you to swap his brain in for Truman's? I'll never tell. I'm literally watching you do it right now. Where did you put Truman's brain? I'll, I'll never, never tell. tell. Come on! I'll, I'll never, never tell. tell. Here's the steamer trunk tag. found some weird stuff off the ride and... Raz, we're chasing Crystal Malik, remember? Come on having fun at an amusement park. <sighs> I'm headed back to the cart now. Out of this creepy place. Okay, it looks like you're catching up with Crystal. Keep a lookout for him. So Malik's name was true. Our father meant it right. He made a plan and fooled the man who took a little Potato Masher? Potato Masher? It's a new mission code name I made for you. Oh, I like it. Let's go mash Crystal. Thank you. 
Hmm. Weird. I think I hear something. So, what did you think? I think you're a very confused person, and you don't know what you're messing with. I'm going to restore a whole country to greatness. A country that your heroes, the Psychonauts, tore apart. Rolovia was never great. It was always a fair to middling country at best. Please. I was there. You weren't. It was amazing. I had a cotton candy maker in my bedroom. Where's Truman's brain? Not my problem. The people hated the Maliks. If that were true, then why did they unanimously re-elect us every election? Your dad was a brutal dictator and a ruthless strongman. My father's only problem was that he wasn't strong enough. As Tsar, I won't have that problem. Trust me. Tsar Theodore made a monster. He pushed a vulnerable young woman to do such horrible things in the name of her country that she snapped. He broke her. He took a sad country girl and turned her into a mighty warrior. And I'm going to do it again. Maligula is my grandma. <laughs> oh boy, now who's confused? Your father used Lucretia Mux to squash nonviolent protests. Maligula rained on a few parades, yes. But that's what cooled them down before they got too violent. I've had enough of this. Yes, me too. Hey, I'm not a puppet. I'll break out of this in two minutes and then you'll be sorry. That's all the time I need to have Truman extricate Maligula from her captors back in the physical world. No, please don't! She's in a very fragile state right now. Any stress or memories could... Could awaken the Guardian of Grulovia and fulfill all of my hopes and dreams? You don't say. Please excuse me, I don't want to miss this. Hey, you jerk! Turn a profit on this merch. Twenty-five dollars for this piece of crap? It's made with real. Where? Oh, it's out. My. Hey. Ow! Brain! Please? It's a plush toy, little prince. It's made with real metal in the briefcase. Come over here. Help. Ow! Look! <laughs> what? No, not that one. This one. children just inside the mind of the grand head of the Psychonauts? No. Darling, we saw you come out. That's an incredible security violation. Listen, that's the mole. Kid, you're way behind. The mole is Nick from the mailroom. Sasha just figured it out. But I always had my suspicions. Why, there he is, over there. No, that's the Zazarovich of Grulovia. Or at least his body. His mind is in my dad's head. Ugh, we don't have time for this. Let's go get my dad's brain. Out of my way. 
Did she just say... Gah! I think we should get out of here. Zarvich, have you come to pay for your father's sins? Yes, High Priestess. I am here to correct the mistakes made by my father. I am Crystal Malek, son of Tsar Theodore, rightful ruler of Grulovia and servant of Maligula. Lucy, this isn't you. We can fight this together. For you are here too. This is awkward. Ah, there's so many people here. Too much baggage. Need to push it all away. Lily, wait! I'm gonna need some help. the rest of it. Is Maligula doing that? Of course she's doing that. still at the camp. Your father had a rough night. He's been remembering things. I lost her, Rasputin. what we have to do. Mio caro. No tears, my love. It's showtime. Time for the devil's fire holes. Quippy, on the bottom.
That's right, and there's more where that came from. Parents were part of the protests in Grulovia after the war. It didn't end well. Here's a scene I was hoping not to see again. Grandma Morona. My real Grandma Morona. And my dad's father, Lazarus. Nice to see them alive, actually. You're in the way, Maligulugly. Maligulugly. Malugly. Yeah, I gotta practice that before I meet her for real. think I'm great or anything. Just see, you're my grandma's sister. And I'm here to talk you out of being evil because, you know, you're still family and all. Family? All I see is another unruly Grulovian peasant. A uh, half Grulovian. Another is a trash and he's a wash from the streets. <laughs> oh boy. Sam? Two of you are no more threat than one. In my time, I have vanquished entire rocks. Ding dong! Wheelogram! I'd like you to meet Mental Esmeralda. Uh oh. Careful, children. Oh, I fear a storm. That'll help you. Unwind. Ooh, that looked painful. It's okay. I have another one. Go.
your quilts, weakling! Hey, that little old lady's inside her! Now that you've seen that, I'm afraid, I can't let you leave! Wait, what does that even mean? It means run! Flight complex, but you're supposed to be smaller. Stay down in the primitive plane until needed. I am the deluge of Trulavia! You've got a fighter from the inside, Nona! from that water. Upset about some terrible mistake she had made. So we put the word out on KLOB, and guess what? People were listening! At least one of them, and they told the others. Thanks, Morris. You owe me an exclusive on air interview for this, okay? You got it, buddy. Marona wasn't supposed to be there. Lazarus shouldn't have brought her. He killed my sister. 
No, that's not quite right. No, that's not quite right. Oh, do you listen? I... I killed my sister. I might not be your real grandmother. I killed my sister. But you're still my family! What's so bad? <laughs> I kill lots of people! The only thing I can offer now is everything I've got. What there's all room for one more. Oh, I wish I had made you bigger. It's okay, Nona. Look behind her. Dug his little hole after all. <laughs> yep, and we're gonna fill it. got something like you. We just know how to keep it where it belongs. Have a funnel. So that's it. Maligula gets to live out in Green Needle Gulch with Ford as if she didn't just try to kill people. Hey, it was different when I did it. There was a monster, and and then uh, and now. Uh, I think she deserves a second chance. 
And I think I deserve a vacation. My brain's been through a lot. Oh, no you don't. I've kept this place afloat during your little nap, and now I'm taking two of the 17 weeks of vacation I've saved up to lie in a beach where none of you can find me. Right after we take care of some important Psychonauts business. Well, are you coming or not? Now that's leadership. Despite my best efforts, you interns have seen some really inappropriate things. But I think you've also learned a truth that every psychonaut should know. That there are flaws in our most venerated institutions, in our heroes, and in ourselves. We all make mistakes, and we all need help sometimes. But we all deserve a second chance. You've seen us at our worst, and we've seen you at your best. And I'm proud to say, you have all graduated from the intern program. Woo! Yes. That's what I'm talking about!